And we are live. What's up, everybody? Hello. It, you. It feels like a Friday night, but it's only Thursday. It felt like oh. a Friday night for me yesterday oh. because I was gone for so long with being gone for Tinley. And oh, yeah, yeah. Like That's having right. having all those days chained together like yesterday felt like Friday. <laughs> oh, feels like Friday right now, too, for me. <sighs> It is Friday. One more, day, one, one more day of work. <clears throat> it's the final countdown. Let's let a few more people trickle in. How are you guys doing? Everything good? Are you asking me them or, or me? Or the you, you, everybody. Did you, <laughs> you guys just finished dinner? Yeah, we, we ate dinner like an hour, hour ago-ish. Okay. I had dinner at, at 5 p.m. Three hours ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, oh, I, right. We, usually, we right. eat early. We eat early. What time do your kids go to bed, Brian? 7.30 if they actually go to bed. But we try to... They, we put them down at 7.30. When they okay. fall asleep, it's a different story. My daughter's up now. I can hear her running around upstairs. So it's 8 oh. o'clock. <laughs> so cute. My son My son is good. He'll go to bed. He'll lay down. Yeah. and My daughter's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get there. She'll get there. Oh, just Crested Ooh. Gecko is on. What's we're up, just, Tim? We are just talking Tim. about Tim, how he's just Crested Geckos, but now he's also also has a Gargoyle Gecko. <laughs> Tim, you're no longer just Crested Geckos. You're just Crested plus one just... Gargoyle. <laughs> you are Crested Geckos plus. <laughs> Yo, Gecko Gambit, what's up? There's all sorts of people in here. Oh, Mr. Drew. Gecko. What's up, Drew? Oh. Drew. Good to see you on. Oh, I lost you guys. Can you oh, yeah? hear us? Brian, hello, will, hello, Brian hello, who will hello. be back. Can you hear us, Brian? Hold on. I got to go get another set of headphones. I lost you guys. I'll okay. be back. Christian's on. Kathy's Christian's on. Here. What's up, Kathy? Kathy, hey. Chatty. Chatty, chatty. Ecast, Hello. Mike, I see, oh, I see a lot of auction something? people in here, Harry. It's like auction sense. It's, a, up it's a meld, man. It's a gecko pod and auction meld. I love it. Gecko Smur gang is on. Murderous Smurfs is here. <clears throat> David's here. Rouge. <laughs> Rouge. <Or> not Rogue. <laughs> I Down. met them this weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw I um, met them at Tinley. Yeah. I saw a picture of them they posted. The yeah. uh, face reveal. Yeah. No, it was good. It was good to meet them. <laughs> Oh, Preston's on. Super Yamori, we used one of your pictures for for the IG IG ad. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Bry Animal. Bryce caught up on your vlogs today. Cool. Harry, he, he probably needs to, you know, have some therapy at the end. Did he listen <laughs> to a happy one or a sad one? <laughs> it's always talking about the toxicity in my vlog. <laughs> Bryce caught up so on toxic. me. And then he sent a message to Harry like, bro, are you good? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Bryce, for watching. Oh, my, la my last my last one wasn't my last one was kind of sad, but it wasn't uh <laughs> it didn't talk about the toxic uh hobby. That's it was true, just me, true. my frustrations with you were saving hobby. that for this step this episode, right? I can't oh I did a I'm gonna do a positive <laughs> one. What is your favorite thing about the hobby? That Ooh, one's next. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what is your favorite thing? And you can talk all about all about that. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I had people uh, post up on what they like the most, so I'll share oh, that. Awesome. I'll share that one soon. <clears throat> Smurfs is here. <laughs> Murder Smurfs. Why um, did they become? <laughs> I like Rex. We just call them Smurfs. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Chell's a mess. Oh yeah, it's funny. Uh, we have about thirty-four people on. We'll wait till Brian's on. We'll start rolling in pretty soon, but. Just saying hi to everybody right now. Mm. Justin's on insomnia. Uh, Justin I was helping you at Tinley, right, AJ? Yeah, we'll talk about that for sure. Nice. That is good. Mm. That's good. Hey, <laughs> ketchup's chips. What up? Hey, what's up, Emily? I met Emily on the Discord. This, uh, this I know. Week. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Cool. To I like your uh, Fontanimal shirt, Harry. Oh yeah, you have one too, right? I do. Yeah. Okay. That's a great shirt. Fontanimal. It's free free advertising. Free advertising. The only person who gets it. There you go. 
because they never ask. So <laughs> if you don't, the key, the key to getting advertised on our show, don't ask for it. <laughs> the key to getting on the podcast. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> we're like the opposite. People ask, we're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny hey what's up summer oh yeah summer's on now? yeah i summer's hear you guys okay. the shop the is shop. that the one out by you harry <laughs> yeah vallejo sure. vallejo is maybe like 40 30 40 minutes from me yeah yeah it's cool that's to see more that's uh, closer to where isn't that closer to where my sister lives like up, yes it's up, up towards upwards, napa yeah, yeah. <laughs> That direction. Not quite all the way to Napa, but it's up towards, you know, up that way. direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aubrey, Sticky Dragons. What's up, Sticky Dragons? Yeah. Hey. Austin's here. Oh, I'm going to see Austin TV. on Saturday. He's going to be over here. Oh, yeah? He's going to be helping yeah. you move? Yep. Oh, nice. Beastie Baby. Nice. Amanda and Patrick. <laughs> oh. Little monsters. Oh, <laughs> oh. Do we ever get them on the lives? I feel like that's kind of it's rare, right? Kind of nope. rare. <clears throat> is it uh, if it's Jess or Anthony, whoever it is? We're doing a episode next week with Jess and Anthony, so we'll we'll have like another morph chat, right, AJ? Yeah, have we picked which morph we're doing. We no. I was gonna solicit feedback here, so if you okay. guys want to know about a certain morph, like let us know in the comments what you guys want to hear about, I and we'll tell you about. The, we'll give you some dogs. thoughts. <laughs> want to hear about super caps <laughs> want to hear about super caps yeah. Brian super caps uh... <laughs> I know everything there is to know about we super start, caps we start no. off, we starting off strong with the super caps we will yes yes. let's uh, begin in a minute we have about 53 start, watching now so. Sabrina I got a Sabrina. guy from Sabrina yesterday in the mail Thank oh, Sabrina, you. AJ got an animal from Sabrina ooh yep. nice yeah nice very one cool too. Hey, Vega's up. Vega's on. What up? Man. Oh, Craig. Craig the Everybody's teacher. Everybody's here. Craig, Craig the teacher, right? Teacher, the Craig the teacher that yeah, I have at Florafana. Right? Florafana, yeah, Craig. Yeah, he is brought he gonna his be buddy. At, is he going to be at Florafana this uh, in a month and a half? Are you going to be there, Craig? Let us know. We'll see. Bring your buddies that don't like reptiles, but they'll keep you company. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why awesome. did you bring me to this? <laughs> <laughs> Jaretta, like, what's up, Jaretta? You're a loser. Hello. Why are you surrounding yourself with losers? <laughs> <laughs> to hang out with us other losers. <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, ah, he's a science teacher. <laughs> yeah. Expected to have friends like this. <laughs> what's up, Christian? <clears throat> Snowflake. Aubrey wants to hear about Snowflake. Oh, oh it's Jess. It's Jess. What's up, Jess? Anthony's at work still. Jess, hey Jess, I haven't I haven't talked to Jess in like so long. We used to be friends. She's not my friend anymore. <laughs> she doesn't like me. You know, so so AJ and I chat with uh, Jess and Anthony like on a on a chat, and then um, yeah. Jess is in and out. So she's always busy. yeah. I love when like it'll be me, Harry, and Anthony talking for like twenty four hours, and then Jess will come in and catch up on all of it, and then go back and reply to like all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jess is so funny. <clears throat> blood dragon <laughs> oh the sloth meme we gotta bring oh, that sloth. i like the oh. are those are those kafotis and island endemics photo is that what that is, is that oh, yeah damara yeah. or which species is that that's cool i like it fellow aj is oh, here as well chris is a local to me somebody has a kafotis i forget who was uh Anyway, yeah. Zambara. Ah, I was right. Oh, Clutch City. Zambara. Clutch, Clutch. Oh, Andrew. Andrew's with his son, but he's on here today. Ditching oh, his son. Oh, man. Andrew is in South Carolina. Oh, sweet. On wow. The <laughs> Such short time of his son, and he's spending it with us. <laughs> I, got I, <clears throat> I got to see AJ. I got to see AJ at Tinley, too. Oh, yeah. AJ Filipino AJ. Delighted. It was good. <laughs> How was it saying, hey, AJ, hey, AJ? Yeah. I don't know if I if I did that much, maybe once or twice, but it feels weird. <clears throat> That's funny. What's up, Simon? Simon's on. Yep, Craig is the teacher. Teacher, man. <laughs> All right, we All right. ready to get ready? rolling? All right, ready. <laughs> That's a lot of saying hello forever. <laughs> we have uh, All right, we well, have 60. We have, 
we had we had technical difficulties. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Um, <laughs> welcome to episode sixty-one of the Gecko Pod. We are a podcast for the Gecko community, where we talk about the hobby of Cresteds and sometimes other new Cal stuff. Um, and we also talk a little bit about business and uh, the market and things like that. So we're excited to chat with you guys on our live today. We have Harry, Zero's Geckos, and you guys introduce yourselves. AJ, AJD Reptiles. <laughs> Brian, who's geckos? Brian, we're known. We're like all no namers. I like it how Harry introduced himself, like in the third person. <laughs> I'm Harry. <laughs> this guy is Harry at Zero's Gecko. No, he <laughs> said we have Harry from Zero's Geckos. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> wasn't that wasn't that a Seinfeld episode where um yeah the where guy the always referred, talk, yeah. referred to himself in the third person? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Craig will have a sandwich. Craig will have tuna salad. It's like what? <laughs> 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 um uh aj you just had a tinley show this past weekend yeah yeah give us a quick breakdown of how it went how things yeah. went it was good um so breakdown is i brought a bunch of animals i think i brought like a hundred maybe like 120 130 so yeah. i originally had i had signed up i had hoped to get two tables when i did my paperwork um, I had signed up for two tables, but anybody that knows how Tinley works, it's kind of like a guess on what's going to happen and you get on wait list forever and all this stuff. So I had knew I had known that I had ha going to have one table um, and then I showed up and I had two tables, which was great. Um, but I was having to luckily I had two tablecloths and um, extra banners and all that stuff. So I was able to kind of like spread my stuff out and yeah. um kind of stretch my legs a little bit which was really nice so that was kind of a highlight and it gives me the flexibility in the future to um do some really cool stuff with my booth which i'm excited yeah. about mm. so you um, get two tables would you try to get get more tables are you trying to i get think more two is kind of a sweet spot especially because okay. tinley is a pretty expensive show to vend yeah. like if yeah. you compare tinley i mean i think tinley is the most expensive table that how much is it per table if you don't mind me it's asking. like 400 a table okay yeah That's it's like 408 cool. foot basically yeah <clears throat> so yeah i mean it ends up it ends up being relatively expensive so um any more than that i feel like I, i'm kind of more of the of the camp where at a big show like that that is really um high-end animal focused i don't bring any I don't bring any supplies. I don't bring any diet. I don't bring any stuff like that because when I go there, really my my market and my customers are other breeders and mm -hmm. they're not going to buy that stuff for me. So I kind of leave the the more like local show or like pet sales to other folks in the show. And then I just focus kind of more on the high end stuff. So okay. my table, if you ever come see it, it's just eight or animals. 16 feet of just animals, just like wall to wall okay. animals. So no display cases. No, I, I love loose deli cups. I know it's like makes people cringe because they're afraid of theft, but I'm always at yeah. the camp of have more eyes on it, but I don't, I don't love display cases. I know people that do. I know Brian uses them and some other folks use them, but I love deli cups. <laughs> yeah. That's just me. Yeah. That's so good. it's good for people, but they want to pick it up and look yeah. at it. I feel like that. crested geckos or geckos in general are a very hands-on purchase. So that's kind of why, why I tend to go that way. But yeah, the show was really good. Um, yeah. Justin from Insomnia Gecko came and helped me. Hey. So he got oh, there awesome. real early on Friday and helped me load in and get all stuff set up. And um, there was a couple of times we were both cleaning deli cups, like just swapping paper towels. When you have 130, 140 animals, um, it takes so long to do a paper towel oh, swap. Yeah, I man. mean, legit for us to get through just like paper towel and spray, it takes like two hours. Yeah, with two people, like because you just, have so many animals. Yeah, because you got to go yeah. through and spray them, and <laughs> so the first day was just like spray, you know, double loop everything again just to make sure you're right on, you know, sexing and pricing and. All that stuff and then after the first day you pretty much just have to clean um as the animals continue to you know poop and pee in their cups so but no it was great justin did a great job and helped me at the booth things were yeah um busy lots of 
people from uh, the auction that came by and said hello. Lots of people that watched the Gecko Pod that came Yay. by and said hello and took a bunch of pictures and stuff. Sign any autographs? Not this time. <laughs> I uh, have in the past. Not remember, this time. remember the last October we were signing that guy's shirt. Yes. It was like, <laughs> I remember. Like, Sign my shirt, please. I was like, what? Are you I'll serious? never forget. I think it was like, <laughs> it was probably like 2013, 2014. I had like a group of like three or four people come up to me and ask for my autograph. And I was like, this is the way it's never really happened since then, but it was pretty funny. Oh, well, we had that breakfast instance. at. Tim. Oh, that was, that's true. We did have that breakfast where we got like mobbed by people. That was kind of weird. <laughs> that was, that <laughs> was crazy. Funny, that was awesome, but it was, it was cool. Everybody was chill and cool. And yeah. They were super awesome. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think the show was, was great. Um, sold some really, really high end animals. It was an interesting show because the stuff that sold was the nice stuff, the crazy stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So my reflection on that was, I think the people that that buy from me kind of throughout the year on auction or maybe on DMs or stuff like that, that stuff that I don't normally offer, the crazy high end stuff, that's the stuff that people came out to see yeah. and buy. That's interesting. So while I had a great show, monetarily i didn't sell like a crazy number of animals mm -hmm. yeah so, just more high-end stuff like super it was like you know imagine the top the top 10 percent of animals that was the stuff that was selling so nice. it was cool to see yeah 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 uh, it, bobby right? Coco -Co says you brought one of that the best blotch in the yeah, show yeah apparently i'm a gargoyle gecko breeder now which is fun <laughs> i stumbled on making like some crazy blotched gargs um, not stumbled on. I got some animals from my friend Matt and brought them together. And um, yeah, I made some really nice animals. So that's awesome. Ever yeah. worry about tail drops at the shows? Um, rarely, almost never. Yeah. I don't really have issues with that. I think as long as you have animals that are well fed before you go, <laughs> are hydrated, and then, you know, you put them back in the box and you, you don't tote them around. Um, too Put much. them in your backpack. No, yeah. Don't hike. Don't <laughs> hike. Don't hike. Or, don't hike around with them. You'll be good. I know what you did, Harry. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Oh man! I, at the, I, I think know at what the, you did. At the Anaheim show, there was somebody with a clear backpack with gecko, <laughs> geckos. Oh back there. yeah, or those people with those like bubble <laughs> backpacks, backpacks with like bearded dragons in them and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, that animal must just be so freaked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just bringing oh, your geckos man. or animals to parade them around and show them off. <laughs> um, Aubrey, I'm considering it. I'm not sure yet. I need Harry to come help me. And now that I have all this extra table space, I need more friends. To I, come I don't mind me. coming to help, but it also sounds like you have more help coming. Like Chad wants to come. Maybe yeah. Brian. Oh, then you're off the hook. No, do you want me to come? Right. Of course. <laughs> that is okay. That is you expensive. think I'm going to say no? <laughs> yeah. Then I'm more likely to come. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at flights um, okay. already. It's still in the 800 range. I'm gonna it wait till it, it, it will drop. It'll drop. Wait till it goes down what? maybe four. <laughs> four, four is like yeah. the normal Chicago to San Francisco price. Yeah, I think for me it's like eight round trip for flights. Then the car rental is like 250. Yeah, and yeah. then and then the hotel because I I only stay at I only like to stay at the hotel there. Yeah, I pay. What do I pay? What did I pay? The block rate's like one sixty a night. That's not bad. At, then after tax, so you're staying oh, that was with days. tax. That was with tax. Oh, I, it's like one forty yeah, so plus tax. Oh, so I was. I think I was paying. I guess so around there, like so, like let's say like two twenty a night, take six six hundred bucks. Yeah, for two nights, six hundred for three nights. Oh, okay. you go Friday, okay. Saturday. <laughs> Oh, uh, two nights. So, what, so there's 400, that um, five hundred bucks. There's that uh hotel right next to it, like one block over that I stayed at. What well, that there's was a nice. There's like a million hotels yeah. Within, yeah. within within like two miles of there. Okay, I felt yeah, I felt like that was a pretty clean hotel, and it was like 180 a night or something. What a lot of people do is they'll stay off site, but they'll just like hang out until like right before they go to bed, and yeah. then they'll go yeah. back to their hotel. Yeah, that's what um, we did. As long that's as you did, like, uh, if you're going to drink or whatever, you know, people just have like a DD back to the hotel or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. 
Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I normally just stay at the hotel and then go to bed at like 10 30 so <laughs> <laughs> what if people are in your room till like midnight uh well this last uh show was awesome because i have my own room yeah there you go uh yeah. and i could just i didn't tell anybody what my room number was i just dipped <laughs> out and <laughs> see ya <laughs> yeah. if i'm gonna come i'm gonna stay with you yeah sounds good <laughs> Okay, cool. Sounds, Sounds good. good. We're getting, we're all, we'll, we'll everybody's going to hate on me for we'll going to sleep bed together. We're yeah. going to sleep together. Yeah, Brian Brian and Chad will come in too. <laughs> we'll, have to we'll all snuggle. Um, don't stay. Can we, just, can, can we just get a king bed? <clears throat> just one king bed and all of us share together. <laughs> what about we get two queens push them together, mega bed? Ooh, mm, I like that. I like that. That'd be good. Plus and the get couch a, at the foot. And then maybe get a couple <laughs> cots and put them on the ends. <laughs> it'd be like a slumber party when we were kids you sleep with your buddies <laughs> except we're all dads yeah we're all we're all 40 years old except aj <laughs> yeah oh, oh, my dad's asking me to tell about my red backpack back in the early days i don't know if i've talked about this before <laughs> what's your I red backpack? Um, so when what i was there? probably from the age of I don't know for a few years when I there was a few years when I didn't vend Tinley a handful of years when I didn't vend Tinley and my approach I know Kevin has talked about this I think he talked about this in his episode um but what there was like probably a three to five year period where I would just show up to Tinley and I would stay the weekend but I would just walk around with um like a Jansport backpack with yeah. like 25 30 geckos stacked up in the backpack <laughs> in and Delhi? I would just yeah, delis. Yeah. And I would just walk around and man, I would sell like most of the geckos in the backpack that wow. week. <laughs> um just walking around and yeah. you know, showing You're... people and meeting people in, you know, hotel rooms and putting them all out on a bed to look at and that's awesome. It was cool. So You're for a lot of years there was dealing. some hustle. Yeah. It's like gecko dealing drugs. I was like gecko drug dealing, so <laughs> but says, I sold a lot of animals that way. It's crazy. That's awesome. But without needing a table yeah, I kind of, you know, I I, lot, I saw a lot of people doing that at the show. There was actually like two or three people that came to my booth that had backpacks with geckos in them. I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> the tradition's get. still alive. Don't stay at Super 8. Don't need this. Trust me. Yeah. Um, I, I stayed normally at, wouldn't stay at a Super 8. I stayed so. at a Motel I, 6 one time. <laughs> it wasn't for Tinley, but it's just for something something else. Oh, my gosh. It was legit the worst place I've ever stayed at. Bro. It was like, it was definitely uh uh, it's like a it's like a hooker motel. It was so bad. We should have just stayed in the car. It was really bad. Everything, every single thing was stained. It was nothing was clean. Cigarette marks Ooh. everywhere. Yeah. Oh man, it was bad. But yeah, you're right, David. Don't I, stay I stayed at one of those too when I was in Arizona visiting uh Andrew. Except for it was at his house. <laughs> no, no, no. I had remember I had to leave. I had to, oh, leave, had to leave his leave. house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I stayed at Super, Super Motel 8 because I was like, oh, I'd rather stay there than to stay at this <laughs> um, Did you walk the show, AJ? You see anything crazy? Um, I did walk the show. I'm trying to think what I saw. I saw a really cool lychee, which I got from Tom Wood. Um, Secret Lab geckos. I got a lychee from him. I saw a couple like really weird um, Sarahs that were like, they're like neon. Neon, mm. orange, red from northern mm -hmm. gecko and i traded and got those okay. traded a white oh, spot, nice traded a white spot sarah and grabbed a pair of those from them because they're not collards they're just planes but the color is crazy is it the base color or the, the spots colored it doesn't have spots it's like imagine the oh. base color is like the standard color but then there's almost like a secondary pattern color on top and it's like oh. orange i want to see it yeah i'll take pictures of it for you yeah send it um send it to us. so i got those other than that, I was I didn't really see anything too crazy. There was just a million animals, a lot of gargs, really a lot of gargs for sure. Unusually, really, unusually, and unusual. Um, I saw. I, we'll talk about this here in a little bit. I saw um, Luox and Luox mm, lily. Yeah, that's one of the questions. Yeah, yeah saw those. Ooh. They're very small though. They looked mm. very frail. Um, but they were also like they one look gram. frail. Oh, okay. Frail because they're one gram. Yeah. Not yeah. frail because no. they were super famous. No, I mean, it could have also been that, but they're also just so small. So, yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah, but it was good. Overall, really great. I'm looking forward to October. I'll have that same spot, which will be really fun. Um, yeah. Do they ever move you guys? Like, let's say you have a set spot. They don't 
They don't move you? Okay. No. I mean, unless you unless you like lose your spot, like there were some folks that didn't pay for their spots and then ended up having a setup in the hallway because mm. they showed up with all their animals and stuff and their tables were already resold because they didn't pay oh, for wow. them. But I mean, they were kind enough to let them set up somewhere, even in the hallway. Yeah, so. yeah that'd be crazy if they had no spot at all. They yeah. just show up yeah. and have to go home. And it, that yeah, and it was some people that have vended there a really long time. So mm. it was just kind of a, a miss, you know, a miss as far as, you know, remembering to pay for your tables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to jump into a question, which will touch on topics we will, we've kind of uh, wanted to touch on. Yeah. Let's do it. So just rolling off of what you said about oh. seeing Luwax, Heirloom, Cali Art, Geckos, Mike says, uh, what is y'all's current opinions of Luwax? Healthy? So I looked at them and I yeah. looked, I took my loop out and I like looked at the nostrils and everything just while I was there. Um, my opinion is that they are probably somewhere in between a super cap and a normal as far as health. I'm not convinced okay. they're healthy but I'm not convinced they are super cap bad. Yeah. Mm. I don't mm. think they're going to be as healthy as a normal gecko. I will say that. Okay. But I don't know if they are super cap bad, but that's, and that's only seeing one of them. I mean, I saw, I saw four, four. Oh, mm. wow. They brought four. There was, were they three, for sale or three just for Luox, display? Three Luox, they're for sale. There How was much? three Luox. Can you get price? I think the Luox the was three k, and the Luox okay. Lily White was thirty five or thirty eight. Okay, yeah. But I saw three Luox and a Luox Lily White. And this from a Korean breeder? Yes. Okay, that was vending at Tinley. Yeah. Okay. So, That's my opinion was gamble. they all look. I mean, they have reduced nostril. They don't have as much of a reduced nostril as a Super Cap, mm. but it's definitely less than a normal um but from the photos i've seen it seems like super sable doesn't have reduced nostril but i don't know what that if that i don't think nostril obviously is the only issue with these animals so mm. you know i don't think we can say for certain that we know that super sable uh luox luox lily whites that we know 100 percent what their future is you know i was i was just thinking about this today super sables i haven't really have you seen adult pictures of super sables yet i think there's a couple we have i think so yeah um yeah. Really, really quickly to answer ecast well, we've also uh, seen... is a, a sable with a cappuccino That's we've what also want. seen super, we've like super seen form. super or sorry we've seen adult luox too hmm um i don't think i've have we seen no I, I haven't seen i haven't seen i haven't seen either i've i've uh i'll send them to you later brian okay. i'll have to dig them up um no super Was it Moo, there. Moo, 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 Moo posted it Moo, Moo has an interesting animal so you know that animal that Moo, Moo calls what is his super sable called it's got a interesting name. oh i don't know i could Van, vanta black or not okay. vanta um Mia. something let me pull it up as you guys are chatting about that. Some, I think Vanta, Vanta Black or something. Um, uh, yeah, maybe it's Jet Black who has one. But that one is, I, I was told by another Korean breeder, that animal is actually a Super Sable Phantom. The one Moo Moo has or Jet Black? Jet, I think the one Jet Black has. So how does it the, how does the it reasoning, look in terms the of reasoning like behind that the reasoning behind that was I forget what they they had said the I forget he he had spelled out how what pairing made it and basically maybe it was I think what it was was it was maybe a partho egg was what it was and the animal that produced it was uh was het phantom or what i something happened where basically it got it got um two copies of sable and two copies of um phantom hmm. out of the same animal and it was something to do with either like partho or something like that so 
If you go further, I'm sure we'll probably Oops, find sorry. it at some point, Harry. Yeah, Just I've think. never um I've never yeah. seen that one. Yeah, yeah. Vanta Black, that one. Here's a super, super stable. stable. So this was the one that uh, I was told is also Phantom. Okay. So I mean it doesn't look it doesn't look unhealthy. There's you no know what it reminds me of? It looks like a Chua crested hybrid. Yeah, it does. It does. Because it doesn't have a crest. It has a yeah. rounded out chewy, chewy. It just look. looks like an exanthic with no crest. Yep. Yeah. It looks like an exanthic hybrid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> chewy hybrid. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm. Yeah. So okay. I guess so that's we... why nobody really posted it, because it's not a pretty animal. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a crested gecko anymore. Oh, um yeah. are there who has Luox on their page that I can pull up? Do we know? Who has the um An adult Moo -Moo. one? Go to Moo Moo's. Moo -Moo? Okay. Just so people know kind of what we're dealing with. I think he has save uh Luwak Lily Whites on there too. Oh uh, stables. Yeah, like that, that's a Luwak Lily that, White up to the right. Right, the white white one, yeah. Or oh, that's a super, super stable. Lily super white. stable lily white. Okay, so that's super stable lily white. See that look? I mean, that animal looks relatively healthy. Yeah, it looks. That one has normal. crust. It looks like it has crust too, right? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, and then go. Um... This one? is this? No, that's a sable. Oh. Harry, <laughs> don't get distracted. You get. You always get distracted by dogs. Dude, anytime so cute. It goes, anytime, <laughs> it's dogs always are. dogs. Get out of here, Harry. Oh, look, oh, they're like, like little pu puff balls. <laughs> oh, more doggies. <laughs> oh. Go up to the left there, Harry. Okay. Oh, wait. No, go down. Go down. Just like right there. Yeah, either oh, right. of those. Those are uh, Luwak. Luwak. Okay, Luwak, here we Lily go. White. Sable cap Lily White. Okay, so Luwak. Is it Luwak Lily White? Okay. Yeah. This doesn't look terrible. Yeah, interesting. I would love to see how it develops. Yeah. 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 I mean... I think that I think that there's not really much chatter out of Korea on the health of them, which is a little concerning. Yeah. Because you ask mm -hmm. and nobody will tell you. I guess um, we'll but you also don't see you don't years, see right? many you don't see many bigger ones. So yeah, by next yeah. year we'll probably find interesting. Out we'll more. find out. We'll it's know. A TBD. TBD. Yeah. Yep. Nicole asked, "Don't don't." Oh wait, uh, something about drama. Super cap. There was drama. <laughs> That oh, was what, okay, so, yesterday. So let's let's talk about Super Captain since we're talking what about drama. <laughs> what drama? You want to you want to give us the the TLDR, Brian? Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, and then we'll it was react. I don't look for this stuff. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I don't want to. Not don't trying to be send in... it to us. We don't want to see it. No. <laughs> I, I literally yeah. this this is what it ha I get a message in the morning. Hey, check this out. It's like every time some kind of drama. Did you see this? I'm like, uh, I really don't want to be involved in this. I don't want to, but whatever. I'll look at it. So I go look, and there's a Facebook post, and I see this the super cap posted. I won't say who posted it or anything. So and it was a super cap that was so deformed like mm. it deformed as it grew it didn't it wasn't like it was like as the bones were developing it was just like like weirdly mm. half developing yeah. and so originally the person who who posted this said that it was healthy when they got it like oh i, I got a healthy one and, and um now this thing's all deformed got deformed face the bones it can't walk properly it has like crazy wobble it's not stable can't hold had, on well they said that it's got like stored fluid and stuff yeah it's it really bad it's like a really like you ever watch um do you watch robocop the original robocop yes. yeah in the 80s yes. remember when that guy gets his body the acid thrown on him and he's like ah, like <laughs> <laughs> That's what that crested ge gecko looks like, or, or you can reference sloth from Goonies. 
<laughs> it looks like it looks like the top of my mouth if I eat a Totino's pizza roll. <laughs> yeah, that's right, uh, bro, bro. <laughs> this is it's so sad though. It's sad that these it's, it's animals. Super, super sad. It's and sad. I'm trying, not, I'm trying not to laugh because of this picture. Because I, I, I made this picture. Right, I made. I, I, this picture who's geckos this is from who's geckos post don't cancel harry and i who's geckos made this everything <laughs> everything controversial comes from brian <laughs> and i was wondering i was like i was like dad this thing looks this thing looks like sloth i'm like this is crazy and i pulled up a google picture i'm like oh my god this is like the grec the gecko version of <laughs> like the distorted eyes look at the eyes the mouth's yeah. open it's legit the same thing it's so bad. That is so, so bad. And and that gecko is living a very painful life. You know that. And mm. Yeah, so it definitely just, does not look it healthy. Seems, it, like it seems like the keeper is trying to make it comfortable. But at yes. the same time, it's it doesn't make it any less terrible. You know, it so sucks. Bad. I think people are still, I mean, are people still proving, proving uh, cat lines with supers? I just I, saw um, somebody hatch caps super caps like last week yeah yeah me too yeah, yeah. a lot of people are I, there's i'm not saying a lot of people but there's a good number of people still doing it and how many yeah. are that they just don't say yeah you know so then, okay so a question is like how common is it with all of these supers is it do they all end up like this i know there are health issues there's i don't a pattern think there's any adult healthy supers okay well, like, I, even, if, have... even if they dodge the nostril issue, they're not going to dodge the bone issue, the lack yeah. of being able to store fat issue, the neurological issues. Yeah. You know, they could maybe oh, dodge you... one, but they're not going to dodge Did you all. see the post, though? Like, the hemipenes look way bigger than... Yeah. They were like basketballs on there. I know. That guy's yeah. that guy's packing. It's because they're, re they're, they're where, ready where he's to lacking, breathe. He's, where he's lacking, he's packing. <laughs> <laughs> All the fluids went down to his junk. <laughs> no bones, but his nuts are huge. <laughs> God, bless, God bless them in another way. <laughs> so, yeah, but, I uh, guess, you know, I know throwback to like how long freaking over a, a year, year ago. A year ago I this. mean, we were on here talking about how. Yeah, I mean, these things clearly aren't healthy. We yeah. wouldn't tell anyone to breed for them and everybody you know, people are in the comments. You don't know that, you know, yeah. they might be fine. You know, you're just I'm like no gecko that can't breathe and has to open its mouth to breathe is going to turn out. OK, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, Janine I also had, uh... heard. I also heard. You remember. Um, remember how uh, right when all that stuff came out, like Constantine and others had made memes about people like poking the holes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With yeah. the thumbtack. Apparently people do do that. in Korea. No. Yes. Oh, really? No. But well, who, what? It makes it know? it makes it worse because they told me. I heard from two different people oh, at the no. show. Two different people at Tinley told me this. Wow. And um, people from Korea, and they said that actually, when the skin heals, it's actually worse because they create oh, no. a wound Overlaps. that that makes scar, scar tissue, tissue. Yeah. and closes the hole even worse. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, it's so like, what? oh my gosh, why are people doing this? Just stop, yeah, yeah. stop trying to make these. And then things. what terrible. about, I remember people also saying things like, you know, it's bad now, but if we continue to keep breeding it. We can make it better. It's like, then what, what, what we say, how many, how many ge dead, bad geckos that have to die or, or be living in suffer. Pain yeah. So, so, so you can, can make one that's viable. Yeah. It's terrible. That's yeah, like boy, that's yeah. like uh, leopard geckos and lemon frost, you know. Yeah, yeah. terrible. Um, well, are pinkies similar in that regard in terms of health, or what are your? I, thoughts I do on not that? know. We, we do, don't know. We have, nobody we have really has no any, info on these. Yeah, there's no information yeah. on that. And reptiles by Mac isn't going to say anything. Yeah. Maria is not going to say anything. There's only what that one guy, the the bug, the bug uh, plug guy. plug guy. He's the only one that has it. But he doesn't right even have his isn't even an adult. Did you you saw it? At, was it the same one that we saw in October? He had it there? I didn't see. I didn't go to his table in March. Oh, OK. Um, but yeah. he had He's one there and it was like maybe 
like a large juvenile, maybe 20 grams or something, 20, 25. Yeah, when we were there, it was like 15 grams last time, like yeah. 15, 20 grams. Uh, quick one. I know Aubrey asked this earlier up top. What's your opinion on oh. new cow hybrids? I think they're cool. The wrong people. All three of us have. <laughs> we, all have <laughs> we all have hybrids. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have 50-50 hybrids, though. Yeah. They're yeah. cool, though. Yeah, yeah they're, they're awesome. really cool animals. They're beautiful. And personal yeah. personality, it's great. Awesome. They're awesome. Yeah, as long as you don't, they're not like too close one or the other, where you kind of start to blend things and dilute. Uh, yeah. I think they're they're good. So if they look like uh, hybrids and they're clearly hybrids, I think they're awesome. Awesome to see and hold and have as. Yeah, they're awesome yeah. pets. They're good. <laughs> Mike says. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So okay, so that's super caps. Um, so yeah, we're still hearing some stuff. I remember Janine uh, when she first. I think she was maybe one of the first to pop super caps, right? In in the U.S. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. so she had a lot of health issues already. She brought the thing to the vet and uh, had to have surgery. Actually, muscles. no, there was super caps were before Janine okay. did it. Th yeah. that was, there was a time when um, <coughs> super caps were being popped out by, by regular people, like non-breeders. Mm -hmm. And they're and like, they oh, them. they were calling them because they were, thought they were on, they were oh, like, oh, these are bad yeah. animals. Like, mm -hmm. I remember there was a post on Facebook and this is before people knew cap was a genetic trait and it, oh, it just found out that cap was a genetic trait and this girl wanted to sell this gecko for sixty dollars a super cap oh no then then she got offered 15 grand and took 15 grand so my wow. book 15 grand well good yeah. for her <laughs> she yeah she got a two geckos she bought from petco bred it and made this super cap and made fifteen thousand dollars on it that's but, crazy mm, yeah, wow. so but they She's were they, super caps were popping in the US before Janine, but she was the first one when to like document them act, or act, actively looking to produce at the yeah. to prove the gene. Yeah, didn't Om Omni made a couple early too, right? Yeah, supers. They're yeah. they're yeah. very close in time. That was time similar frame. time frame. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the cross is uh, a crested and cooey. Chewy, yeah. Um, yeah who guards and Cresteds have not been done yet. Apparently, they have. Really, really. Have not we have not mm. seen them. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple out there. Somebody was telling me about when it. I, there was a picture of one at Tinley floating around, but I didn't see it. Mm, oh. Okay. Yeah, Bobby says they uh, successfully hatched the guard crested. Oh, there we I go. Think. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let us know, Bobby. Send us Bobby, pictures if you find any. You, you need to do a, a podcast on that. Oh, speaking of podcasts, isn't there um somebody's podcast episode? Oh yeah, out today? tonight yeah, we got. Right? We got. <laughs> I think it's out already. So Bobby, eight o'clock, right? I was. I think he posted it already. I was. Uh, yeah, he had me on, and uh, thank you, Bobby, for having me on your podcast. And so go check it out, Gecko Cove on YouTube. I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. What? Let's morning. watch I'm gonna it. Fall Let's watch it right now. It. I'm gonna Let's be wa L. watch party. <laughs> <laughs> gecko pod watch party that would be awesome <laughs> we'll watch it right here right now we should do a everybody. watch party at some point we should just have like a giant zoom call with like 100 people in it and everybody can just be watching the episode <laughs> everyone bring your drink and some snacks and we'll just all hang out <laughs> um but yeah go check out gecko cove uh thank you again bobby for having me appreciate you yeah. man so awesome. preston awesome. send us the pick uh in the group send what's it the to picture the guard i think the, the guard hybrid? crested hybrid okay send it to me i'm not in that group yeah, send it to yeah. the three of us. Just make us make a new group, Preston. Send it to us. Yeah. So, um, cool, cool, cool. Any follow ups with that? Um, nah. I guess just t a lot of TBD with Luwax. Super caps are not healthy, and that's don't where breed we're at, right? super caps. Don't breed. Yeah. Try not. To, some people breed on an accident, but other than that, don't breed them. And yeah. the ones you do produce <laughs> on accident, you probably need to euthanize them. Hmm. Sad. Um, Justin asks, "WTF is margin?" I don't know. Ask AC. He'll tell you to look just, at them. Just look at it. <laughs> just look at them. <laughs> just, just, I mean, all you have to do is look at it. And just look at it. That's funny. Uh, no, that has to be, look at it. <laughs> that has to be my favorite comment of all time in all of Gecko Pod history. When I, I asked, asked uh, I was like, what did for you people ask? Who don't know, I asked, How can you uh, tell what is the pop scale? 
no, no, yeah. Pixel. Yeah. Pixel. I said, what's it? Oh, Pixel or Soft Scale? Yeah, one of those. I don't know. I what think it was Soft Scale. Oh, Soft Scale. Okay. Soft Scale. And then uh, AC is like, just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. You can tell. Just look at it. <laughs> if you just I was like, AC, I need a little bit more detail than that, man. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Just look at it. Yeah, yeah. Just look at it. Just look at it. Yeah, yeah. Just look at it. 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 Just look at this going I'm on, even I'm not even convinced it's a trade. Like dark reverse pinning. That's just it dark just, reverse pinning. And what mm. is what is reverse pinning? I mean, isn't it thought to just be interaction just phantom. of phantom, phantom and, and tiger, or phantom in some sort of pattern? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't say that it's something that should be being upcharged on. I mean, maybe the quality of the animals that have. That have like uh, a higher expression of that look, you could market, but I wouldn't be selling animals as margin margins and trying to upcharge for that. It's I, like me personally, up, but I don't even think you should upcharge for soft scale. Yeah, yeah, that's or, fair. Or a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know. I think <clears throat> like if if it was a long existing trait that's been around and you could find it anywhere. Like margin, you could find in anybody's collection in if phantoms, you call yeah. it margin in phantoms. I, been, I have a whole, I have a whole bunch of that stuff, but I'm not labeling it margin. Yeah. I'm not gonna label it margin to up sale, up my sales, or ask more money for it. You pay. Yeah. I don't think these things are made people to label things. I don't know if they're labeling it just to market it so they can make more money off of it, or or if they honestly think that it's some kind of trade or something you know yeah who knows yeah. i don't know mm -mm. i don't know i don't know margin is the new cho cho <clears throat> every phantom lily white is margin <laughs> i think uh there's a lot of lily white or a lot of margin in every yellow phantom, phantom lily white yeah, is yeah, margin. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes yes my goal is to make yellow phantoms without any of that any tiger brindle nothing so just as the clear, clean as clear I can make. Yeah, That'd be cool. I mean, there's a lot of reds. They like used that. to just call them yellow patternless. Yeah, yeah that, that would sound good. good. Nice and simple. Yeah. Oh, Aaron's on. What's up, Red? Oh. Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> the um, red ones are look like that only because usually the tigering is so muted from it's red. Dude, by red. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So. The yeah. So it hides it. Yeah, kind of. Yellow like shows just, the tiger more than the red does. Got it. It's okay. just the way it's just the way it overlaps in the pigment of the the scale the okay. skin. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, reptile source Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, can you explain tricolors? I know it's common, but in my country, there's a lot of confusion about that. Uh, how do we explain tricolors? Very simply, because we're so used to tricolors. Typically, a tricolor would be an animal that has three primary colors, the base color, white, and either orange or yellow in equal distribution is the way mm. I've always heard it described. So say like an animal <laughs> that is black based, but then the pattern is orange and then the secondary pattern is white, but it has the same amount of orange and white. You know, it's it's equally distributed. You know, here's who's gecko's tricolor. Mm. That yeah. one is this tri it. Yeah, I would say it's tri. Is this tricolor yeah. enough, AJ? Yeah, I think that it could have a little more white, but but I think traditionally that is what is thought of as tricolor is the uh, the spread of uh, primary pattern and secondary pattern equal uh, amounts of it this in those those colors is this not tricolor enough no i would uh, say they're just like that's more extreme har extreme harlequin okay. got it got it yeah i don't keep a lot of tries i probably have like a pair at most <clears throat> they're cool though i like them yeah they they're very, there's I a mean, lot of them out there now though they're like pretty yeah flooded. i mean those are like the initial eye catchers i mean there's so much going on. It's especially with the orangey tries with like a lot of deep mm -hmm. orange. Yeah, that's uh, my secondaries. One. Those those look great, man. The contrast is eye catching for us, even though we're colorblind, you know, the so. only problem with them <laughs> is they only stay looking good for like two years and then they look mm -hmm. terrible. But is that that's true? Of, 
move them quick. <laughs> is that true of most things? I feel like darts. I think that's most things. Yeah. yeah. Reds, yeah. yellows, oranges, Halloween stuff. It's, everything fade fades out, out after two, three years. A lot of the high white stuff doesn't though, Harry, which is cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It gets, it gets wider because it's fading anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It gets wider, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here's a good try. Let me just pull up Gabby's. That's a good try. Good try. Is that even enough? <laughs> Crossline grandkid. What is that? That's from you. I don't know. She, that's what she's Frostline grandkid. <laughs> so it must be out of that. her elixir female, I believe. Picolita. Cool. Oh, probably elixir. Mm, that thing's okay. cool though. Yeah, so this tricolor. is what happens when you mix frost line with tries. That's cool. Well, even though you do produce some tries, but yeah, I, AJ yeah, probably focus, has like some pretty nice tries. Focus on tries. Yeah. A focused try. Gabby has a lot more tries than me for sure. <clears throat> yeah. Um, update on AJ's gecko diet, ETA S Sly Kittens. <laughs> uh, me. That. I'm yeah, trying to finish me. my other project before I yeah. uh, do that. So. Hmm. but still in the works i mean we're all all waiting for it man <laughs> that's true I hope, yeah hopefully Speak we get uh first dibs on it for sure <laughs> yep send me some sample packs um have you guys what are your thoughts on other current send me 10 pound uh, sample pack. <laughs> 10 pound sample <laughs> um what are your thoughts on other market diets at the moment so oh. we have pangea rapashi my opinion lugardi we have um, sweet reptiles. Um, BPC. What else is out there? BPC, aerotonic. Aerotonic is not like a, a complete bagged diet, though. Oh, okay. Mm. You have to add stuff no. into it. Yeah. 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 You got to add like okay. most, like yogurt. most of the stuff. Yeah. And fruit okay. and stuff. Yeah. Thoughts uh, Thoughts on all those diets going, going forward? Um. I think that the, yeah, the mainstays like the Pangea and the Rapashi still have kind of like the choke hold on, on what everybody uses. Um, and that's because they have a proven track record of having a quality product. So that's what I think if you pull, I know you pulled people or Brian pulled people or I think, no, Pino, I think did the poll. Pino did. Um, asking people what brand they use and then uh what flavors of that brand they use and i it had to have been like 90 plus percent pangea let's see if i can yeah. pull it up real quick it was very high so i mean that should tell you that should tell you uh you know kind of what the current state of people feeding yeah are. it was uh 58 said pangea eight said rapashi eight said bpz and five said other Lugardi had zero Oh, nature. Okay, hold on. Lugardi had a zero. So no uh, one bought Lugardi after using the sample. No, no Lugardi. <laughs> Even though everybody gave them glowing reviews, nobody bought it. <laughs> yeah. Um. And let me pull up the card, but yeah, keep talking. So I use Pangea. I've used Super Pashi in the past. Pangea seems to be my gecko's favorites. I do a mix of growth and breeding with either fig and insects or apricot. I never give one flavor alone. So I'll do 60, usually 60, 40 mix. Okay. 60 growth and 40 of the other flavor. Okay. And then, um, you know, I'll add my little things here and there. You add fruit or anything, add mango. I'll do frozen mango, always frozen mango. <laughs> Sometimes I'll switch it up here and there, but primarily is frozen mango. Right now, I'm doing liquid calcium due to egg laying. Okay. I'm doing, I do a little bit of honey. I don't do a lot. I used to do a lot more, but I just do a little bit because I have it. Yeah. 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 Um, I put a little honey. I stopped. I didn't, I used to use bee pollen and I stopped using bee pollen. So I don't use bee pollen anymore. It's not that it's bad or anything. It's just, I didn't feel, I didn't see any noticeable difference in terms of, mm. um, more feeding response or less feeding response. So I just shied away from it. I, I heard, I mean, bee pollen's good. It's got natural antioxidants. Mm. It's good for it. I don't know if it's got it a lot of vitamins and minerals, vitamins. Yeah. I just don't know um, if it's, I think people often put it in a diet because they're looking for increased feeding response. 
And yeah. I don't know if it does that, but it definitely has a lot of like micronutrients in it. Mm -hmm. So it's not bad for the animals. Yeah. So I stopped. Uh, so I, so I don't do that anymore and that's it. And I'll sometimes I'll blend some bugs in there here and there. Mm. Uh, Rapashi, I, I haven't had, I I've had with the classic, I I've, I've had all right. It was good with classic, but mm -hmm. for me to, to feed my stock, it's, it's more affordable for me to feed Pangea. Yeah. Makes sense. You know, and it's more readily available sometimes, you know, for me, mm. other stuff. I don't, I don't use, um, I will, I mean, since you brought up the topic, I will talk on, um, another food brand <laughs> that I've, I've actually been having problems with, and I've been talking about this on my, my broadcast channel on IG. So it's not like it's a secret or anything. <laughs> so, um, well, the company starts with a Lou and ends with a Gardi, and they, um, <laughs> It starts with a loo, ends with a guardy. <laughs> and and you know what? I'm here's my, here's my I'm sure there's people on here that like it and have 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 a um enjoy it and, and like it. You know, it's fine. That's your opinion. Nothing and wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it at all. My opinion is so initially I had tried this a year ago, year a little bit over a year ago, and my geckos didn't like it, right? And it didn't smell good and and it didn't, and it molded really fast, like less Super than 24 hours. Too. <clears throat> yes. And I had to add so much diet to, to, to make it to, to the consistency I wanted. So I voiced this opinion, my, my thoughts to Mugardi. They're like, hey, we're on version three. I want you to try the new one, right? And uh, I, th I think we changed it. It's a lot better. I said, fine, I'm willing to try it. So... All of a sudden, you saw this big slew of people doing Lugardi. I'm doing Lugardi. My geckos love it. Oh, look at this video and stuff like that. And and the, the representative, whoever I spoke to, told me, hey, listen, can you do, do a video of your gecko eating it? And we'll send it to you for free. You know, just make sure you just give us a good review. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, a good review or an honest review? <laughs> you know? So good then review. I started. So I saw a few breeders give honest reviews, right? Honest reviews, like real honest ones. Like, hey, listen, my geckos tried it. Um, it didn't mix the same way. Same problems I had, but this is supposedly the new version. Mm -hmm. And and they started be like questioning them like they were a four-year-old child. And I'm mm -hmm. not like talking about like, oh, man, did you like, well, did you read the directions? What? Of course you read the directions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did How much water did you add exactly what the directions said? And then like it was just constantly one after another. And I was like, yeah. wow, this is very condescending the way it was. So then I just started seeing it. And every time somebody who didn't give a good review, I would check because they would follow them in the beginning. And then they would unfollow them. And then like I was like, that's kind of like, why would you unfollow them? So anyway, so they... <clears throat> They had their marketing ploys of what was the one that I did? There was, oh, the one I got into it with them on a post. It was a meme the one where... with a sword. I don't know what, I forgot what the Are meme was. Are you talking was, about I... the one that they put up where they were trying to pit people against the other brands? That's the no, one where that was, that's that where was you after. and I got in trouble. I got into it before that with something, um, oh, we don't, we don't add smell or flavor to it like other other brands that use chemicals and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I said I said, well, and I made a comment. I said and I said, well, if your geckos don't like the smell and don't like the taste, then I'd rather have a gecko that eats, eats something that, that doesn't eat nothing, right? And they just went back and forth with it with me and they they ended up unfollowing me. I got salty because <laughs> when people Brian got salty? Me, I, what? <laughs> when by the way after though, you're done after you're you're done i'm going to show the crested garg hybrid over here oh okay, okay anyway, so after yeah. so don't go too you know, long <laughs> all right yeah so at, when when people unfollow you right you yeah. start to feel some sort of way right like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You i know, don't, don't 
Yeah. <laughs> AG's like, but, please fo- unfollow me. Please unfollow me. <laughs> but I was like, wow, this person unfollowed me? How, how petty. So I was yeah. like, whatever. So I went on my broadcast and made a whole thing. So then that was the one. Then the next post came out where they said, what did they say? They said, they said, what? Which diets were the worst for geckos? Yeah, which di- which diet on the market is the worst? And why? Give and me why? your give me your pop your opinion. And then you made a comment and your comment I was, made a comment and I just said my first comment was just why would you put a post out just trying to get people to um put down your competitors? That seems pretty unprofessional. You know, yeah. from a from a from a business that's selling a dry good trying to get like it'd be like if Target came out and just said, "Tell us why Walmart sucks." You know, <laughs> it's like they would never do that. You know, or Best, that's like Best Buy comes out and it, says, oh, "Why is Amazon the worst?" You know, like they'd never do so that. Bad. That's so bad. And, and or so even us, that. like, why would we put like, what? Well, why would we put who are the worst crested gecko breeders in the hobby and tell yeah, me and, ta- <laughs> and say everybody tag the worst gecko breeder yeah. in the hobby. Um, so but, I posted that comment and they deleted it right away, right away. Me, me questioning after you know, t- like 15 people liked it. Yeah. I got like 15 likes in like three minutes and then they deleted it. And then I commented again and basically just said, you know, well, if you're going to delete my comment, I'll just tell you my honest opinion. I think Lugardi is the worst diet on the market. <laughs> and then I just said what you had my experience too. Cause I had bought some from Bertopia myself just mm-hmm. to try it and it was like an unfeedable diet roaches won't even eat it i was talking with <laughs> another breeder bad. at the show and said their dogs wouldn't even lick it out of the bowl wow like it's like it's like an unedible product so, <laughs> <laughs> but um it- i hope they can learn from this and make a better product i want people to succeed <clears throat> but it's sad you know I, I they also need to work on their marketing and not shit on other people and be so yeah i guess i don't know scammy not scammy scummy they're scum yeah. that's scummy. yeah the, the approach is the approach is definitely not great there's <clears throat> yeah. some improvement there's there a, that needs to be made the uh yeah a, a little bit more tact would be nice uh, yeah <laughs> lugardi do better the guard yeah, lugardi. yeah that's exactly. our honest chad says be <laughs> humble that's all you have chad, to do yeah yeah, don't, don't 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 use... sell don't sell on other people's comments. Also, yeah, it's really it interesting that uh Lugardi is selling diet and they don't breed crested geckos. Mm. <laughs> very yeah, tell you everything you need to know. They don't they have a pet Rep- store. <laughs> Rapashi, obviously, we all know Alan Rapashi yeah. with Pangea. Crested... Pangea with big breeder of geckos before he made a diet. Exactly. Like, and these guys just come in here and they just want to shit on other, other companies for, for what reason. And, and when when, cloud or whatever. Yeah. And when, when they don't agree with you, they're going to, they're going to delete your comment and, and then, and then unfollow you. Yeah. It was so funny because, because that, that, that post went to shit because people started commenting. And then they deleted it. (laughs) And they deleted it because so they many people it. said that theirs was the worst. So it backfired on them. <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> uh, so we'll move on from that. Now you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now you know how I, I feel. Yeah. I can't say because I haven't had, I haven't tried Ligardi. So I can't, I don't know. I just know the tactfulness of their marketing is a little bit off to me. Yeah. That's all, That's all yeah. I can say. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys have tried it. So you guys, thank you for your reviews. Yeah. <laughs> Um, DNA says sweet reptile. Um, that's a European company. Yeah, he gave oh, yeah, me okay. some samples of yet. it. I haven't used it yet, but he's okay. giving me some samples. So did you open okay. it? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I, I don't want to spoil it. it. When I open it, I want to make sure that I actually mix it up. <clears throat> yeah, I was talking to um AJ earlier too, and uh, we got some free samples from June from a who, who made it? Did Rankoman make it or somebody else make no, it? No, someone in Korea. Okay. Anyway, they were he's passing out some samples of some Korean food uh which we have which we'll eventually try maybe we don't yeah. know hopefully it doesn't kill our geckos but yep do they have a uh, kimchi jjigae flavor <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> or they have kimbap flavor the bulgogi. Bulgogi. Spice, spicy bulgogi. Tofu. spicy bulgogi <laughs> 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 Bro, I, I, 
I'll, I'll be eating it. If that if they had that flavor, I'll be eating it. Kimchi flavor, yeah. There you go. You'll go be to like John, go to yeah, John yeah, flavor. Like that, <laughs> I, I would be eating it. Oh Trust man, me. I want the That's pork belly flavor. Oh man, <laughs> that'd be good. Um, well, have you guys tried Blue River from UK? I haven't even heard about that one. No, I haven't tried that's it. That's uh that's a new 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 brand. I don't even I just saw it recently. So that's Honestly, like old, old I the now. idea of getting my animals uh like it, exclusively on a diet that is made Aubrey, over, yes. overseas does not sound attractive to me. Cuz if there's any sort of issues, if there's any sort of tariffs, any sorts of things, I don't want to have to then switch my entire collection, you know. Yeah, and, so um, I'm probably just, not going to primarily ever feed a diet that's from outside the U.S. And I wonder yeah. if like um, I don't they might actually even have higher um, standards in terms of like FDA approved stuff. I don't know, like the way they have like <clears throat> food stuff gets approved like we have. Yeah. You know, for I don't think stuff pet like food that. is re pet food. Crested gecko diet is not regulated in the U.S. No. Damn. No. Maybe you should get yours regulated and I think, use that so as a I'm pretty, point. I don't know where Pangea is at now. <clears throat> um, I know Rapashi has like, he's got like a legit, he's got like a legit like um, supplement company level of uh, production and mm -hmm. his machinery is crazy. And I think Pangea now has that too. But for a long time, Rapashi had that and Pangea was kind of more boot or not bootlegging, uh, bootstrapping it. And then I think they've kind of, reinvested and gotten their like automation stuff kind of more up to up to um par so yeah yeah um let me get this one in for aubrey and jay from Sticky yeah. dragon they, they asked from our discord can you touch oh. on crossing back limits basically line breeding what is too related what is too close your thoughts on that i know their the answer varies depending on who you talk to but, i mean um, typically typically my thought has always been um i mean if you cannot do it that's great and then I've never been like, like opposed, opposed to doing single, single uh, line breeds. So like a daughter to a parent or a son to a parent, yeah. um, and, doing that for one generation, then crossing out. And you do um, that not because you should do it, but you do it because like you're looking for a specific... prove, out, prove out a yeah. trait. If Correct. there's something that is like specifically uh, hanging, hanging you up, hanging a project up where you just like cannot get it. For whatever reason, like in these examples where to make exanthics or to make some of the different animals, line breeds had to happen. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. So don't do it just to do it. It's do not it just like take every pairing you have and do it. Yeah. yeah. No, no, do it no, with no, purpose, no. do it with intention, and it needs to be Our thought friend, out. Yeah. And uh, act, yeah, do it. Do it well. Yep. So, yeah, I've probably sibling to sibling is probably the off limits. Yeah. I don't try, think, try I don't avoid think that as that. as as far i mean i know there you go what chelsea said he's, highlight he's that that's cool yeah oh, and yeah, dogs i mean dogs are mammals you know yeah and these are yeah. these are yep. insular island reptiles which are much more uh durable to these yes uh, breedings for sure yes reptiles reptiles have a higher higher um uh, resilience towards genetic defects when it comes to um interbreeding and that's i think those are there's many studies done on that too yeah, so. there is quite a few. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny. I was listening to some podcasts and they were talking about humans and and incest and what were the percentages. It's actually and, not as high as you think. Yeah, that, I that exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I was like, what is it? It's like of of you, like a genetic defect. It's only like three or five percent or something. Yeah, or first three, cousins three is like super low. I was like, yeah. what? I was yeah. like, Man, and like so siblings, weird. it was like under ten percent or something. That's crazy. Mm. I was like, what? Yeah, it's that's so crazy. weird. So I mean, geckos, I guess. <laughs> I'm from Pedro's yeah. from Bama. Where were they? Were they uh, interbreed? Is that what his uh, good joke is? <laughs> if you're from there, we're not making fun of you. That's just what Pedro said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, Aubrey says in my lines, I'm considering niece to uncle for a cross, but want to be extra sure. I mean, that's I Sounds feel like that's fine. pretty far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're you're good there, good. Uh, Aubrey. But yeah. just make sure there's something in there that you want to do. What, yeah, like just don't do it to do it. You know. <clears throat> yeah, Chelsea uh, shows and breeds dogs, and it's uh, essentially Chelsea. okay. 
and it's uh, acceptable. Yep. And mm. Chelsea's also probably on the very conservative side of the dog world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, yep, hopefully that answers that question. <clears throat> um, what else do we have here that we wanted to touch on? So we touched on some diets. We touched on super caps. Um, let me pull we up to talk. Question. Didn't we want to talk about um, shows and traveling to shows? Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to talk mm -hmm. about um, the importance of maybe trying to make your way out to shows that are outside of your area. Is that oh, right? Garg Hybrid, Harry. Oh, Jurassic. Garg Hybrid. Can you pull oh, it off you on your screen? Thank you for oh, my, yeah, I, I can't, I can't because the desktop's not allowing me to. So I'm oh, going to see if I could do it ghetto style. Hold on. Okay. One second. Natasha's walking in. Okay. It's not focusing for some reason. Yeah. For some reason, when I pull it up on my thing, it doesn't show, but, uh, let me see. And I tried to find it on their actual page from nature, from nature. Nut. Brother. Wait, Harry and Brian say Wait, hello. that's. Hey, Tosh. Hi. Tosh. I thought you were holding Henry, but that's where, just... Yeah, where's he Henry I sleeping? I can't get her to get in frame, but her in focus. What's up, Henry's Tosh? sleeping. Oh, Tosh, Tosh say hi. Oh, hi. You Tosh can't, can't hear, hear it. it. No, okay. I have headphones on, but okay, okay. I told her. Yeah, you too, huh, Brian? Oh, there you go. Brian has it. So it looks it looks very much like a crested. has more... Has the, the, the scale the scalation is weird. It's more bumpy. Yeah. Go to the next one, uh, Brian. Scroll is that a soft next. scale? <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> oh, Aubrey says she sent it one to this. Does it have Let some bone? Does it have some like boniness to the center of its head or not? Nah? Why is it? So Dude, it looks scary. like a freaking uh, guard. There you go. Hold on, Aubrey. I'm gonna try to pull up. The I can display. tell something is weird about that thing, though. I don't know yeah, if looks... I would say, oh yeah, that's a guard hybrid, but it looks off. This the scalation look definitely looks different. That's this is from um, Chels from from the Nature Dot. She's a local to me. Nice. That's also oh there you go. That's Ron, a good picture. Ron, Ron Peter Roy's bow. Oh. oh. <clears throat> bow. Yeah, it looks cool. Looks cool. Looks I mean, more funky. funky. Looks nothing like a garg. <laughs> yeah. It looks like 90% crusty. What's the account that posted it? Was it Nature Nut? Nature yeah. Nut 81. One. Did somebody text me? Let me see here. <sighs> Nature Nut 81. Oh, here. Here's another one. Okay, here. Let me try to pull this up. Let's see if it's successful. Um, uh, oops. Chemtrail line. Oh, Aubrey said chemtrail line. Chemtrail is Emily Burke. What's his name? Isn't chemtrail from Emily? No, originally? no, no, no. That's I. Oh, I don't know. It's is chemtrail somebody, line also from somebody else owns it right now. I think Greeks owns it now. No, it's um. Huh? Okay. Aubrey, can you tell us who who owns chemtrail? That's that like heavy cream super stripe, right? Oh, uh, here, this is a good picture here. Let me I send thought it, it was like a real white. It looks yeah, real but it, white. but it's like a super stripe animal, or it makes yeah. super stripes. It's hey, Brian, a very send, it's a quaddy looking animal. Yeah. Oh, Greek, Greek does? Are you sure? I thought, they, I thought she bought it from somebody else. Hey, Brian, pull those up. Uh, I sent it to you. And uh, it's this is from this is from Aubrey. Uh, Aubrey where'd you send Jay. it to me? Oh, okay. the, uh, yeah, I need more water. One second. Okay. Because I can't pull it so, up for some reason. On so my is computer. this, uh, what is this? This is the hybrid, the Garg, Garg, um, Garg and Cresty hybrid. Yeah, that's though. interesting. See, that looks more like a hybrid for sure. Yeah. That definitely looks like a, uh, yeah. Because it has that Garg striping. That striping, yeah. That's so interesting, man. Girlzilla, that's who it was. Girlzilla was uh, the one who had it. Yes. You Girlzilla, AJ? AJ. Oh wait, AJ. Girlzilla, AJ. Yeah, Lord Apollo. So, so she got it. So Geki, uh, Greeks got it. Okay. Greeks, yeah. Um, That's a cool um, picture. Um, what's a highway line 
from Horizon Crested. So that's Omni. Uh, Omni geckos. Yeah. We, we don't know. Omni he's, geckos. Tried, he's tried to explain it to us. And he says us about he it says many it's times. Sable. <laughs> It's cap, sable, and its own gene. So it's one or the other. We've heard all three of those. We don't know which one it is. We know it's a gecko. I think also Epimorphs has the same thing, right? And fringe. Yeah, Epimorphs. Okay. Epi, fringe, (laughs) and maybe possibly gecko don. Is it something though? Is it something different? Kula. I I mean, it it could be so similar to cap or sable. It could be a it could be like a a combo of one of those things with another gene. I don't know. I don't know how we would know unless we like, you know, had genetic testing within crested geckos. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If it is if it is different, it's so close that the super forms look almost the same. Like they look like super cops. So mm. they're ult- ultra allelic. I made mm. new words. Ultra. It unlocks a third allele. <laughs> <laughs> it creates its own morph. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then when you combine all three, it becomes a new a new species. Uh, new species. Yeah. This is and basically this is it'll basically start talking. The, this is like, it's the like infinity, AI. It's like the infinity stones. You're just collecting the different <laughs> this thing's got five alleles by this point. <laughs> it just it just uh, oh. became sentient. And now yeah. it, it walks among us. It's going to wipe and away halfway the half of the population. Is, they're going to make <laughs> four movies about this gecko. Uh, <laughs> um, it'll be, it'll have the capabilities of going invisible. <laughs> and shooting lasers from its eyes. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, it, that, could be, that could be Fugs. Fugs could have the five alleles. Well, Fugs, Fugs, has, is invis- Fugs has at least four. <laughs> Oh man. Um I had me throw this one out. Are crickets the first night you get a gecko too soon? No, no. No, but also cr- not like a hundred percent ideal from a gut load standpoint. But I mm. mean, it's better than not feeding crickets. <laughs> yeah. Feed but it I something. mean if you feed could if you could gut load them overnight and then feed them the next day, it's like it's better. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah. You know, if feed if them some you, apples, you want to if you get if you get order of crickets right in, right, in the first six hours you feed them, they're all going to eat like crazy because they're so deprived in their shipment of feeding. Because Yeah, cr- and then they don't eat in- nearly as much after that. Yeah, so if you get them the first six hours, you can gut load them and then feed them <laughs> after six hours. They'll have so much of the nutrients yeah. from the food. Bro, uh, first night you get a gecko, I probably wouldn't. Oh yeah, if you don't oh, want to first, I'd probably wait. I'd probably wait a day or two. Yeah, give them water. Maybe offer offer water and offer diet, but crickets might stress them out if you do it first night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. they'll freak out. You know, oh shit, a cricket! <laughs> you know, our highway supers messed up as well. That's a question. Ask Omni geckos. Ask Omni. Do we have we seen them super? He made supers. I did. He made supers, I, but I don't know if he showed them after. Do they, they were small? Do they look like he sloth told, from Goonies? He, he told me they have um he showed spectacle me he eye. told me about the spectacle eye and the nostrils are reduced on them. Okay. Okay, so it's probably So it's it's similar then to If it's not cap, it's very similar. Yeah. So their supers are like caps, but the eyes aren't it's not dark. fully solid dark. It's mm. they have pupils. You can see the yeah. pupil. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, then we want to knock out a few quick ones. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, rapid fire. And then uh, we have a couple. Yeah, we have a good amount, but let me just—I just want to kind of yeah, knock, knock out some a of these. Few out. Um, uh, this one's a quick one. What type of housing do you guys use? And we've we've said some of these things in past, but you know, new people like to know, so we can do quick ones on these. What type of housing do you guys use? Rack system, all tubs, PVC, glass enclosures, all of the above. Yes, all the yes. above for me. All, 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 for, all for different solutions, but yes. Exoterra glass, acrylics over there, PVC racks. I don't have PVC um, uh, condo. You have here, tubs. So. I have tubs. Yep. Tubs Plastic around. tubs, glass, container store, <laughs> PVC, and yes. racks in a system. All or, of them. Uh, cages we, in a rack. We use them all. All of them, <laughs> and they all work good, well. Yep. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses. Yes. 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 Yeah. 
Correct. If you uh, and a quick one, um, if you if you if you have a small collection, you don't have that many. The tubs. Sterilite six quart tubs, <laughs> fifteen quart tubs from Target, super cheap. Solder some holes in. Tubs. I love those. Those are That's those are some of my favorite. Yes. Yeah. So Animals I just do stacked. amazing in them, man. Animals yes. do really good in those. Cases. And it's so easy to clean. Yeah, and yeah, it holds humidity. Yeah. yeah but yeah. anyway, cool. Okay. <laughs> How do you go on vacation out of the country for three weeks if you own a hundred geckos? Hire somebody to watch them. Oh yeah. Don't leave them but alone for three weeks. They'll all be dead. Oh Damn, maybe. I'll never. <laughs> maybe the long, I think the dead. longest I go for is like five six days, and I still yeah. have somebody come spray. Yeah. Yeah. Can't leave them for three weeks. You can't That's leave them for three weeks, Mela. Uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> have someone help you. What female to pair with a red dow male? A red, red dow female. Dal female. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> yeah. That one would help the end. Good. <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't really do much other than that. Maybe you do like a red phantom lily white, or you do like a red phantom that's not a dow, but. If you breed that yeah, out yeah, to much yeah. anything else, it's not going to yield you great results. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to do that. Yeah. Just red Delph. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about ledges versus feeding on the ground? I feed on the ground. I've never I fed in ledges, though. I feed mostly so I on the ground. I have maybe like three or four on the ledges, and the ground works totally fine. The ledges are expensive. So I just I put think them, ledges put them are them. mainly just <laughs> a thing so. to sell you. Yeah. I just use I use ledges on Felsuma species. That's it. That makes sense because they yeah, that makes sense for them. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um here's uh here's from Chell's blue stem. Just for fun, for us, roughly how many pairings are y'all doing this year? <clears throat> AJ first. He's got a million. Top to bottom. Um <laughs> just crested geckos. Sure. Probably like maybe like 150, 160. Oh shit. Probably. <laughs> that's, Bro, a, that's crazy. That's a lot. Well, okay, <laughs> okay, so AJ AJ also just moved into moved his is moving his stuff in the process into weekend, his garage, yeah. which is a huge garage and he renovated it. He yeah. walled it out, has uh HVAC and everything. Yeah. So you're going big, man. You're yeah. Big. Well, I wanna make you... all I wanna make all the cool stuff. If you did yeah. only cresteds in there, how many do you think you could? How many pairs can you max out in that room? Probably, probably like, probably like a thousand. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Well, five hundred. Well, then you have to account for all the babies. I'm saying if I just like had pairs, just cresteds. Oh, just cresteds, like with the offspring. Yeah, probably like five hundred, which would yeah, give me like at least wow. probably at least five thousand hatchlings a year. Which I have. How zero high would you go? With a ladder, you could go with a ladder too. I mean, I could go crazy high. Eight my ceilings high. are my ceilings are twelve foot, so oh so you goodness. go eight, eight, eight to ten, <laughs> ten feet, man, like a basketball height. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't want to do that. If I have to get on a ladder, I feel like it's it's probably too tall. That is crazy. So. Oh wait, wait, but well, before we answer, um, Anthony slash Jess, uh, how about you, Brian? How many do you have? I'm at so I I'm at like roughly 55 right now. So okay. I'll probably <laughs> maxing out at 75. No more. I don't want to do lot. more than that. Yeah. I might actually call it quits from here. So okay, as in like stop breeding. Yeah, I might not do okay. any more pairs. I don't. Uh, I. It's gonna be like a day to day basis. If I feel like some stuff, I'm like, all right, you know what, I can handle it because. It's, in terms of capacity, I got to be able to handle the amount of babies. So, yep, for sure. Yeah. And then I'm at, I'm probably by now around 45 to 50, but probably around 45 or so. That's a good yeah. number, man. This is yeah. year three for you. Third season breeding. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So that's good, man. Yeah. That's a good number to get to by this. No, by I'm trying now. to, I'm trying to catch up to 150. Like AJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just my I'm guess. Is they got I'm definitely not. <laughs> I want to be maybe around maybe around where you are, Brian. I think that's uh I know you that's said that's uh, quite a bit. It is a lot, but um yeah, I mean you have I the potential, kinda... Brian, with like with seventy five, you have the potential to make a thousand hatchlings. That's a lot. And I did over five hundred last year and it was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, we're but definitely uh kind of going up there on the numbers. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. So anyway, uh, what's the fastest you can feed 100 geckos? Pretty fast, Probably right? Probably like 20 minutes. 
Yeah, Hunter's not too I bad. I like just in shoe boxes or whatever. Probably like probably like five, 10 minutes. Because I feed my, I can Diet's feed my shoe box. Fast. I can feed my shoe box room that has like 500 tubs in it. I can feed that in like less than a half hour. I don't think I can do that fast. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't take 500 in less than a half hour. If yeah, if I was just doing diet, if I wasn't cleaning or anything. Oh, di- oh okay. Like if I was just spraying and, and putting food in. It, it takes me a half hour to squeeze out the freaking diet into the freaking <laughs> cups, man. 500. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd be like maybe it'd be like 45 minutes. I don't know. Not my, it would be under gets, an hour for sure. My forearm gets tired after a while. I'm like, I have to, I have to take breaks because I can't keep <laughs> squeezing. I'm like, squeeze it. I so my cart top I think holds like 200, maybe like 180 to 200 caps at a time. Um, and I just line the whole thing up so I have like all the caps. I line them all out. Yeah. And then I just bang, 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 just like fill them all, and then I spray the whole room. And then I just food out, food in, food out, food in, just mm, like, yeah. and I'll just like cage by cage, just like, and then I have the bucket of cups right below me. So it's just food out, food in, just yeah, down, swap, down, 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 down. Yeah. Yeah, swap dirty, put in new. Yeah. 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 Crickets. I did crickets yesterday. Crickets is fast too. Fast? Oh my God. It took me forever, man. Really? I think it's faster than diet. It's no way. <laughs> well, you. Yeah. You do yours different because I see you. You put it in a bag and use your hand and dump it in. I do yeah, that too yeah. now. I I use tweezers. No, why? Why? But I, I could use. I have large tweezers which I could grab six or seven at a time. Bro, just use your hands. <laughs> no, because uh, they escape all over the place. Yeah, yeah, they do. They, they do jump on your hands though, AJ, in the bag. Cause, yeah, so, when I do that, they escape all over my house. The tweezer yeah. way, I don't. I get less escapees, <laughs> and I'm already at my limit with my wife with these cricket escapees. So yeah, I gotta <laughs> minimize I'll, it I'll as do, much as possible. Uh, Tammy asked for for me to do a video of my feeding routine. Once I'm in the new building, it's very set up um, for me to be able to shoot video in there. So I'll shoot a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do like a time lapse <laughs> of like how I do all that stuff. So Nicole, this is true. Uh, this is where we, uh, we panic do. care. <laughs> Brian, Brian does panic care to kind of uh, reset some of his stuff once. But then they get yeah. it again. <laughs> they get it again. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They yeah. get it right after I treat it. You, know? you all have pinworms. Yeah. yeah. See, look, even Jess says you're crazy. Tweezers, WTF. <laughs> sure that's Jess. That's Anthony. Little no, it's LM. Jeff. LM oh, was Jess. Oh, they're both in here. Oh, they're both in here. Uh, okay. They get too confused, these guys. We, um, bro, I got to When you come here next in a month, I'll show yeah. you. Okay. It's not, because, the, it's not that bad. Do your okay, tweezers so the, have the, like the little rubber tongs on the end? No, but they're they're so stuck with calcium on it because they're padded. You know, so, so they have good. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. once uh once Bro, I saw I mastered it, I mastered it. <clears throat> once I went, we went to AJ's house and we were helping him feed crickets and losing geckos. But once we were feeding crickets, then um <laughs> in the in the Ziploc bag, then I came home that I immediately just tossed my cup and then I just use that now. It's so easy. The bag, man. And then yeah. I put the Ziploc bag in a shoe box on my cart so that oh you never yeah. it never tips up like if you need to set the bag down yeah, yeah tip yes over on you. Yeah. okay that's good because it might have tipped over <laughs> you, can't, you yeah, know you can't do that. what about feeding freaking quarter inch crickets that sucks the worst yes okay that is true they jump they jump uh i've lost oh, a few. Yeah. i hate that man you know how many i kill banded crickets because... are crazy <laughs> jumpy too i must kill i must kill at least 40 freaking quarter inch crickets every time i feed because once they <laughs> drop i'm not even bothering trying to pick it up i'm just killing it. i'm just stepping on it. <laughs> they hit the floor you just step on them yeah they're just yeah. getting stepped on <clears throat> tom wants to wants uh wants to see you guys feeding your crickets dude to... okay <laughs> we can do that that'd be a good there's, video we there's so many one. things that i probably like the stupid egg carton video there's probably yeah. so many things that I do, Brian does, you do, Harry. Yeah. Where people we should all, are like, oh, we should this all would do actually it. be really helpful. Yes. Yeah. We should all do it, record ourselves, and, not, and not, we'll stitch we all it post together. Them at the, or we yeah. all post them at the same time so people be, can see it. Yeah. Or we can stitch them together, and then we'll just, like, collab on that post. Yeah, we That'd be cool, all so three that, of us together. Okay. Okay. Different styles. We'll think We're of a different... It. Nobody steal this. We're doing Don't it first. <laughs> idea. I'm saying it is. You first on GeckoPod. If you copy us, we'll know. <laughs> oh wait, just Crested uses a Starbucks cup. Did you use the Stanley Starbucks cup? Wait, where? Where? 
Oh, here. They use oh, the Tim. Christmas. They use the Christmas Starbucks. Tim, cup. switch oh. to Ziplocs, man. A big Ziploc, a uh, gallon bag. Can't use a cup, bigger. man. Cup, cup is no I, good. I did. The other problem with Ziploc, cups too to be is because yeah. there's so so. There's such a small like surface area at the bottom of the cup. The crickets are all stacked up on top of each other, and then they like they actually like suffocate each other out. Yes, because yeah. the, the humidity is too high, and then because they get so wet, all the calcium clumps off of them. Yeah. Me and so that's Andrew, why, like, the bag me and Andrew are exactly the same. Me and Andrew and Pino, are exactly the same. They talk, exactly the same. You guys just need to use you your use hand. A, you use easy. a thirty-two ounce deli to do it. I well, it's a thirty. It's the Chinese soup container. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> which have those is which yeah. which is thirty-two ounces. But they jump oh, out no. of those. <laughs> no, mine don't. Once you once you once shake you the shit calcium. out, sh shake the shit out of them with calcium. They don't, they don't know which jump. way is up. They don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because their <laughs> eyes are covered in calcium. They don't know what to do. <laughs> They're like, "Where am I going? I can't. If I jump, I might die." <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've never uh, noticed Alex's photo. What is he doing there? Is he like trimming a tiny bonsai tree? Oh yeah, what is he? Or is he doing? Is he like? Is he like cutting a little weed bud? What is he doing there? <laughs> Alex, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, so Sabrina, you just I cut. Thought, the, I, I thought I he was. We should do a poll. Oh my god, Starbucks ramen. cup. I think I think a lot of people use cups, AJ. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But a lot of people probably are not, because I'll put like I'll put like five hundred to a thousand crickets in the bag at once. Yeah, I put a lot of crickets in there. Like I'd put a lot in. Oh, so. Andrew, Andrew likes uh, egg drop soup. Let me tell you, AJ <laughs> hates egg drop soup. I why? don't like it. I wouldn't why? say I hate it. I don't like wait, it. Wait, wait, why? Why don't you like egg drop soup? He says it's like it's eating gross. snot. It's like eating straight up like snot. The <laughs> texture. And I'm I, I'm a guy who does not care about texture. And mm. even for me, that is not good. <laughs> and then like, you know I will eat pretty much anything. You know we're gross food, and then we just have a conversation where AJ eats balut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I go there. I'm gonna be one and done on that. What gecko uh, pod live? Oh, eating? you guys would have to eat it too. That's all. I'll, no, uh, I can't I'll eat the egg drop gonna, soup I'm, if you eat the balut. I'm, I'm gonna throw up. I'll eat the egg drop Chad. soup. Brian eats <laughs> the balut. Chad, no. Chad, Chad does Harry have to, to eat? Flour fauna. Harry has to eat some meat that's not tender. Man, I'll eat. I'll, I eat stuff that you guys don't eat. <laughs> oh, I'll eat chicken feet. He has to eat bull testicle. Uh, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try bull testicle. Raw. <laughs> not raw. Now that's that's still on the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> still has still has hair on it <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness um okay what's the most valuable trait not morph in you guys's personal opinions from the gecko guru uh that yeah that's snowflake. super subjective probably like snowflake or white spot yeah white spot How about dark you guys like uh dark but that's that not a have? trait yeah oh, I mean, trait, trait. that's a that's a morph yeah phantom maybe i don't know i think phantom combos are are coming i think that those are going to be if you combo phantom right i think it can make some never before seen stuff for sure yeah i know brian and i are betting pretty big on phantom so yeah we're gonna you just gave it away now everyone's been, gonna pick up phantoms. we've been working on but it, they don't man. know what kind of phantoms we're doing yeah. <laughs> secret secret phantoms yeah. <laughs> Um, heard about the secondhand Pangea sellers on Amazon, eBay, Taint Food. Thoughts? So this goes back to um, Gecko's. Dying. I mean, I I had heard, mm. I had heard in Korea there was also some like, some like maybe like cutting of the diets, which is why they added that like authenticator um, okay. QR code on them. Yeah, um, that might have been also part of the Amazon thing that they're talking about. But I mean, there's so many reputable reputable buyer or uh, sellers that you can buy from. Vertopia or Celestial Exotics or yes. yeah. you know Pangea themselves. Just I mean, yeah. there's so many people you can buy it from. Just yeah, I don't. I would never bought food. For, I mean, not because I have a wholesale account, but I probably wouldn't have wouldn't <clears throat> buy from eBay or Amazon. Yeah, don't buy, don't buy from eBay or Amazon. <laughs> well, no, actually, yeah. I used to buy from Amazon. To be honest, what um, food? It's probably. Like I, I mean, but buy I'm from the, Pangea's yeah. store yeah. on Amazon. Oh, they have their yeah, own yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure yeah. you can buy it Prime, like from Pangea on Amazon. Yeah. yeah, now, yeah, now I have a breeder account, which isn't a wholesale account, but um, yeah, I could just buy it, buy it from direct from Pangea. But yeah. anyway, uh, try pig noses. I've had pig nose. Have you guys had pig nose? No. Um, no, but I would. Or pig pig knuckles. That's pretty common. With, oh, I uh, had pig knuckle. I had that. Yeah, it's just kind of fatty. 
It's good. Yeah. Um, is Snowflake a stacking trait or is it a het uh, homogene? I don't know yet. I'm. I mm-hmm. will know this I'm year. For working sure. on it. What's I like to. Pro- I like to prove things out oh. before I. I think it's. A, I, I think it's line. I think it's line bread trait. So stackable. Stacked. Yeah. Man, white spot, same spot, portal. Same portal? No. 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 Porthole comes no. from white wall. Um. And yeah. Port. Yeah. Snowflake at white spot is like it spreads out. Portholing. Is... Portholing is basically. The hard Harlequin, pattern, the, Har- the white Harlequin pattern on Phantoms, but being but being subdued by the Phantom, so there's not that much left. Hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Emma says she bites directly from Pangea because she's paranoid now. That's good. Yeah, you're not saving much money from buying other people's. At, no. but support yeah, because people. it's pretty, as, they all uh, they all have a map pricing, so they have to. Yeah, sell for the same I can't. Price. Like I can't sell Pangea for less than what. Based on for yeah. yes, correct. Yeah. yeah, I think the only thing they can we can offer as retail sellers is like free shipping. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the actual product same retail you, price. Yeah, yeah, you have to sell sell for the same. Yeah. Best advice for new breeder: It's not a goal to do it for a living, but finance it as a hobby. Best advice: Watch Gecko Pod, all sixty episodes. <laughs> <laughs> now, so uh, you watch, my vlo- watch my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Get, oh, breed, I th- breed things that are nice. Harry's vlog is is a great vlog uh, for for new, new breeders for new sure. New breeder vlog. For, yeah. I think it's. I think it's I watch great, it too. Yeah. I watch everyone. I and I, and yeah, I watch it too, and I enjoy it. You know, AJ so. AJ watches it to go to sleep. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> I do not Thanks watch it to go guys. to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'll appreciate what, it, guys. No, I watch was, all of them. Really I always good. watch them the day they come out. Yeah, yep. well, and I, always, I, I always comment to Harry. He'll like post you. I'm like, oh, nice, a little shorter one today, only an hour. <laughs> the last, the last one was a lot was shorter than the other. Yeah. One. I know. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring it down <laughs> to thirty. Him, though. AJ's like, man, you should keep it around thirty minutes or under. And then I was like, okay, I'll try. And then it goes to like 50. ninety minutes, and I cut it down to forty five <laughs> minutes. I was like, oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't do thirty minutes. I love it I though. I mean, I, yeah. I, I tell you that, but at the same time. I like I like the long ones because then I get twice as much. So probably yeah, yeah, other yeah. people yeah. feel like that too. <laughs> oh, can I? Yeah, I don't awesome. know if you have this if you have this queued up, but for best advice for a new breeder is <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. don't don't spend money you don't have. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. We were okay, gonna talk about this earlier. Let's talk about that for uh, for a few minutes. Okay, so what 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 are we talking about when we're talking about like um payment plans and being responsible with money. What are your thoughts on that, Brian? Cause you have a lot of people asking for payment plans from you and yeah. you too, probably right, AJ. Yeah. I just, I just think financially it's not, it's not, it's not a smart move to, to make an, an investment on something when you don't have that money because you're, you're just going to be, you're just going to be in debt the whole time because what if, so crested geckos is not something that I would ever do investment where I'd need to borrow money to to invest in because one, you got to produce those animals. You're gonna have to breed them. What if your investment? What if your investment didn't work out? Like you got an animal that was sterile, right, and it didn't breed for you. You let's say you spent, you know, I don't want to put anybody throw, but let's say you spent a lot of money on exantics, and and you got an animal and expected that you were going to, you're like, oh, okay, I breed this male to X amount of females. I'm going to produce this many hundred percent. You do X. all the math and, and you then... do all your math. And then your male doesn't produce any babies. Yeah. And, and you're like, fuck, I just spent so much money and now I'm out and I owe money to whoever I did mm-hmm. took a loan from or whatever it is, or even like, I guess payment plans, aren't terrible if you know for a fact that you can get that gecko paid off in a certain amount of time i guess i know a lot of people there's some people that do payment plans that realize all right it's hard to throw a big chunk of money at one time but they have the money in their bank account they're just making it spread out so it makes it feel make them feel better but that's that i don't mind but don't do a payment plan with anticipation that you're going to sell this 
animal to make that money to make the second payment or sell that animal to make the third payment because what if those animals don't just sell the animals you need to sell and then go shopping exactly yes don't do that i just i just don't think it's a financially uh even smart i mean anything like that i mean even with even apart from geckos you should try your best to not spend money you don't have yeah (laughs) unless unless and when you do and when you do do that in the real world there's interest yes yeah, and you know what's crazy is I think a lot of people yeah. live off of credit card debt, right? I mean, I a lot like of people. A lot. Do. Yeah, it's very common. I think majority but, of America does. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's so easy to not to just just spend what you have, like just yeah, a lot, a little bit of self restraint. So I, that goes to the geckos. Like, don't yeah, don't go crazy on geckos. Yeah, but I I do know that um, there is different. I know, like Harry, you and I have talked about it and stuff. Sometimes, like, man, I really want this thing, but I'm just like, I just cannot pull the trigger. But I like, I want yeah. it so bad. So I, we have the temptations, but at the same time, it's like, if you can't, if you can't pay for it, then you probably it's not the right time. Because mm-hmm. it's That's not going to pay out. You, you think you're going to make money back like soon? No, like, yeah, maybe three or, years. <laughs> and I know that some people. I'm not. I'm not like a no payment plan guy. I think the thing is though. There's there's kind of a culture of maybe like over leveraging yourself quite a bit Mm. Um, because I'll give people payment plans for sure, Um, especially people that are not like I'm very mindful of people that are not gecko breeders where it's like their income and what they have to spend on geckos is like after their house, their house payment is done and their car payment is done is like, how much do I have disposable income a month? Okay, I've got. Mm -hmm. $500 $500 a month that I can spend on geckos or whatever. And if those people want to be like, Hey, you know, I want this thousand dollar gecko. Can I do two installments? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. You know, if yeah. you want to do that. But I think when you have folks that have like eight or 10 different payment plans going with all these different breeders mm. and That's it's like, so which bad. one do they pay back first based on who's hounding them for money more? And yeah, that's not, that's not good. You know, not good. Definitely and then if, good. and you know, I don't, I don't like to knock anybody's financial situations or anything. I mean, we all like I, I feel for them and a lot of people have like, you know, problems, but make sure you have your regular life set first. Like make sure you have like the necessities, your food is on the table for your family or your kids or whatever it is. And make sure your bills are paid so the lights don't come off, you know, or yeah. If you don't have money, like, let's say what happens if one of your animals is sick and you got to bring it to the vet, right? And you can't afford to pay like a $300 gecko or $400 gecko. How are you going to pay that vet bill? Yeah, right, for sure. I know. Like I've had had people quite a bit. Yeah. People come to me asking for like a $200. They want to do payment plan on a $200 (laughs) animal, $300 animal. I mean, even $500, I think is you shouldn't have to do a fit payment plan. But, but I'm just like. Wow, like and and like I don't I don't like to like say bad things about it. It's just like it's so like I feel like they should have priorities set where if you need to do a payment plan for for that amount of money, make sure you just why don't you just save the money? I I tell them just save the money first and then and then, and then hit me up. Whatever yeah. yeah, hit me up and or and hey, I'll I'll uh I'll put, and I'll, even on, give I'll them, put your name on it for a couple of weeks and then hit me up and pay in full, you know? Yeah. And, <laughs> and sometimes I'll be like, if like when people do that, I'm like, all right, I'll just, and I feel bad and I'll just knock off some money off the thing. You know, I know is. that the, the three of us, at least we would rather be flexible with people than have people like put themselves in debt. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. So, yeah. <laughs> Here's Andrew four years in and just starting to produce what I envision. Not an overnight make your money back. Yep, totally true. Nope. Yeah. I'm three years in. It looks like not till next year, four years. I'm gonna start <laughs> making a little bit of money. Shit, I'm yeah. still in the red, I think. I don't even Bro. know. <laughs> yeah, if you can't if it's gonna break you, just understand that it's going to take a while to make some money back. Um, mm. so once new breeders have that in their mind, I think they'll begin to hopefully be a little bit more mindful of how they spend money because yeah, I mean, you, Harry, you're, you, you're probably the prime example of like yeah. you did most things right. And you're still like, you're just now starting to like make money all things. Yeah. And you're yeah. like four years in. And yeah. so if people yeah. think that's an overnight, uh, you know, pump and dump, it's not. So, yep. 
Yep. It, uh, you'll definitely be frustrated. Um, so new breeders just hold your horses and hold on to your wallet. This is like a five to 10 year hobby, not like a one yeah. to two year hobby. Yeah. If it's a hobby hobby and you have plenty of money to like kind of disposable income, that's fine. But don't go in thinking that it's going yeah. to make you money, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, it it's will make, make you money, money tomorrow. If, yeah, yeah, correct. It will make you money if you keep at it and you kind of do the proper steps, but it's going to come years later, not next year. Yeah. 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 Yeah, DNA deep in the red. I mean, a lot of us are. <laughs> we feel you, bro. We're we with feel you. you. <laughs> keep working you. hard. Get some nice animals. Produce nice animals. <laughs> Market yeah. yourself. Don't be yeah. a douche. Yep. I think that's another thing. That's another one. Don't be a douche. I feel like I'm gonna wear a shirt, bro. <laughs> don't Who's be that? a douche. Don't be a douche, and you'll be you'll be fine. Don't be a douche. No payment plans. Who's got us? <laughs> don't be a douche. Who's got goats? <laughs> Now, now, now I'm going to redo my business cards. You know what it, it says? Like super ultra duper, high, ultra. ultra high end. God, <laughs> yeah, so, I, yeah, so God how, mode. we have to give people some background from that. So we would make fun. We would make fun of Brian because he said Can like, I get my I, card out. Yes. Yeah, get because, it. Uh, Brian's card said high end crested geckos. And then Asian would give him crap because, because we're like, dude, everyone says high end. Everyone says high end. What is geckos. high end at, at this point? Everybody uses it so much. That tagline that nothing is high end anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so so i decided to take it to the next level i said all right fine i'm not high end i'm gonna be better than high end and uh, uh, these are my new cards so i put on the front <laughs> of my business card aubrey yes this is good uh pull back a little bit brian <laughs> super how, plus ultra god mode geckos god many, mode i'm at how god many did mode you print time. how many of those I, did you print 1,000. <laughs> 1,000 of these. All right. Oh, I'm not God. just ultra high end anymore. I'm not God high mode. End. So Super if you guys want, uh, if you guys want one of business, uh, those business cards from Brian, make sure you buy a gecko from him. Yeah. Make sure you buy a gecko from Brian, but don't ask for a payment plan. <laughs> yeah. If you want a That's super good. god mode, super god mode gecko, get it from You're Brian. You're trying to go god mode. God mode. <laughs> if you want a super saiyan gecko, super saiyan plus ultras from My Hero Academia from uh, All Might. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Gecko oh, Cove. yeah, Gecko Cove. I did not use your business card yet. Bobby, but we, I, we saw. But I we have. Saw AJ showed us. I definitely I, have played with it walking around my Gecko room. We How need one I of those one business of those. cards. Oh, yeah, Brian and I would like one. Of, <laughs> we got to buy it, Brian. I think yeah, this is it. you, Brian. Should have said this. Super <laughs> yeah. colorblind. Super colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> that's what yours and mine should both say. <laughs> Can't, can't see orange or reds <laughs> bro we should just make t-shirts also colorblind crusty gecko breeder <laughs> oh yeah rest in peace akira toriyama oh yeah brian named some geckos after uh, akira yeah so sad <laughs> oh that's good um okay can you export animals to europe yes how does that work quick uh quick one for that what is the quick uh, one? you got so, use DDI. Calubra. or calubra or ddi yeah yeah mm -hmm. So basically you reach out to a third party um, like Calubra or DDI. Well, so if you're exporting animals to Europe, <clears throat> you're not really, you're not really doing much. The buyer in Europe is going to reach out to DDI and say, Hey, I bought these geckos from the USA. I need to arrange for import of them. And then they will communicate with you. And um then you will ship to their stateside uh, landing point. So normally Calubra, I think, is in Florida. You ship to Florida and then DDI is in California. So um, you'll just ship to that point and then they'll feed and water them and ship them over to Europe. And then typically they'll make it either to uh, a lot of folks will go to like the, the ham show or one of the other major shows over there and pick them up or they'll courier them from there to the country they live in. So, so yeah, you can do it. Not too difficult. I've done it many times. Pretty reliable. Yep. I've... Nice, nice, nice. Yep. It's easy. Opinion on cohabitation and everything that's been going on. Does that mean everything? Are that's they just talking on? about that photo with like the, five geckos in a couple oh, oh that yeah, was yeah. so bad yeah don't do that 
I mean, it's not good. Also, cup, I love that f- all the geckos and all those cups, none They'll of them have tails. Yeah. <laughs> that should tell, tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> all also, the tails you, you off. If you ever go to a breeder's table, I know I've said this before, maybe on a live or something. If you ever go to a breeder's table and all their geckos have don't have tails, they cohab. Yeah. They cohab oh, and yeah. they don't feed. Mm. So That's I would t- just t- avoid t- that t- breeder. Yeah. So. A few a few they, tails they tail feed, is fine. Feed on tails. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> but I, like at, if you if you go to a reputable breeder's table they will have 90 plus percent animals with tails yeah yeah, yeah. some happen but like it should be like 90 plus percent should have tails <clears throat> if you're doing things yeah. right uh overnight temp drop range is good for laying breeding female it's helpful temp. yeah I mean, yeah. you're not dropping it dramatically, but no. But I'll have I'll have a little, yeah. Oh, three, four, or five degrees. My headset just died. Uh oh. Mm. Overnight time. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything called the red cap? I'm confused by cappuccinos. Yes, there are red cappuccinos. Hit up Crusty Spectrum. Crusty Spectrum. He's got um, some. Gustav. Gustav Gandalf Westerdale. <laughs> Hit up. <laughs> I can't hear hit you guys. Up. I'm gonna have Gandalf, to hit up, back. hit up Ralph from Cressy Spectrum. All right, Brian. Um, yeah, <laughs> Ralph from ask Ralph from Cressy Spectrum. He's pretty well versed with the cappuccinos. He's working with reds and oranges. Um, he's familiar with all the cat breeders, and so he's a good um resource uh and of information to uh to figure that out. So yeah, we'll uh we'll tell Ralph <laughs> that he's gonna be getting a DM from Gandalf and he'll be ready. <laughs> Gandalf. <laughs> cool. I, I think we almost were. Are we through some of these questions? Let me see. Yeah, I think we're pretty close. Yeah, we're almost at the two hour mark. I know we wanted to go ninety minutes, right, AJ? Yeah, no, you're good. Extra. So we'll wait. We'll wait till Brian gets back, and we'll start to wind down. What's your favorite morph slash traits? <laughs> white white spot. <clears throat> yeah, white spot. I really like caps. I think caps are really cool. Caps are cool. Yeah. I like I really like phantoms too. You're welcome, Mandy. Yeah. I mean, I I like it all though. It's kind of hard for me to pick. I Sable. love super. I love super doll too. I love sable too. I mean, they're yeah. all cool. There's there's so many cool things you can do with each of these animals. Um, I think cap is just like sable. Cap might even have more like uh ability to be developed into cool things than say yeah. than sable does yeah cap is really colorful with kind of the you know melanin it cap it, is kind uh, of like lily where you can make a lot of different flavors yeah i think so yeah we've seen a lot of variety of caps and uh, so many of them are so nice that people are making now once they produce yeah. high end yeah. yeah um jess how long do you keep your hatchlings together so if so you have clutch mates you put them in the same little bin is that what yeah. we're talking about okay yeah yeah yeah, at what grams do you separate yours? Maybe like, Seven? maybe like five. five. Okay. Yeah, maybe like five. Yeah. Um, when they start getting really ravenous on crickets, they'll kind of eat crickets when they're younger, but they're not like crazy for them. But once they start getting really, really ravenous on crickets, I'll split them because mm. I know that you know <laughs> they could they could even nip over a weekend. Like if you have them in over a weekend, they could nip. Uh, mm. if you don't, if they just run out of food for a day or so, you okay. Know, if they're hungry, they'll, okay. they'll nip. So. so keep an eye on it. Okay. Yeah. Cause I have some right now, um, in the hatchling rack that I got to, that are close to that and they're, they've been hunted. Yeah. They love crickets. So, yeah, it's just a risk you run. I mean, you can go longer if you're really on top of your cricket feedings, but if you want to make sure you have all your <laughs> tails, uh, left, then I would say split yeah. earlier. Got it. How many females do you unsuccessfully pair a male with before giving up on him and assuming he's sterile? Oh, ask Andrew Pino about this one. <laughs> I'd probably say like, I don't know, five. Yeah. I, Andrew Pino. I give up after three. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. Andrew yeah, that Pino's tough. bred like 50 to this one male and he doesn't produce anything. <laughs> it's an exantic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a very expensive exantic. <laughs> And he's still going. Yeah. He doesn't want to give he's up. He's still on trying. It. Spray and pray. <laughs> uh, spray and pray. <laughs> Any tips for raising chewies and leeches as opposed to cresties? Uh, AJ breeds leeches. Uh, do you breed chewies? 
Um, Brian, you have Chewies. Um, I have paired Chewies, but okay. I haven't Not gotten yet. eggs yet. You haven't bred yet. Okay, yeah. I'm about to pair some Chewies. Um, so no uh, lychees. Warmer, how about chewies? warmer temps and Chewies, a lot of insects. Lychees, um, as you're raising them, smaller caging is better for feeding response. If you go too big on a caging on a juvie lychee, they just don't eat, don't grow. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's it it's even more like they need to stay in a smaller tub mm -hmm. longer, even compared to a crusted. Yeah. Which is kind of like counterintuitive. In, yeah, because they're very they like to be hiding the cork bark. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little counterintuitive, like, oh, this gecko is bigger than a crested. I need to put in a bigger bin, but sometimes you shouldn't <laughs> if you <laughs> want to keep eating. So Derry, um, we'll have a few more questions and we'll start to wind down. Derry on not feeding diet with bugs to help get geckos to eat bugs. Have you heard of it? And what do you think? I haven't heard of that before, um, Bobby, but hmm. that's an interesting idea. I don't know if they would really know I'm eating just, say, like blended fruit. I still yeah. need insects. I don't know if they would know that, but mm. you could try it for sure. Just met, like maybe just buy a bunch of like frozen fruit and blend it up with water and give it to them with a little bit of calcium and then then feed them gut loaded insects. Be interesting. Interesting to see. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew's <laughs> got a, a male exanthic that doesn't breed if you're interested. sterile. He tried for three years, 10 females. So he's given up. He called it quits on this one. So there, there's one answer for you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. He spent a grip on that one too. Um, I want to cool. see Andrew give that animal to a kid as a pet. Dude. So uh, Ruby, Jordan, Ruby reptiles at the Pomona show. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he had, he, he said he bought this one exantic i think it's exantic lily white or something right aj yeah yeah yeah. and it was uh he bought it for 12k now right he's a female he's selling it for like 500 bucks <laughs> or something crazy because it doesn't produce uh... Cause it, yeah because it's sterile yeah it was pretty nice too it's like oh is that be a good pet cool awesome you guys have any <clears throat> well i think we hit everything yeah i think this is good yeah yeah <clears throat> oh one more topic we didn't talk about. What was it? Photos. Oh, photos. Okay. Oh, let's end with, let's end with oh my photos. God. This is too should, long we say, sh should we save that for another time? We'll talk about it another time. We can do. We can do let's like a, a little five minute. Let's do. Let's a teaser. Get a teaser. photo teaser. So Brian had put out some posts in his broadcast channel this week about, and we've talked a little bit about this before, but mm -hmm. basically misrepresentation with photographs. So. <laughs> having um an animal for sale <laughs> with a certain type of photograph and you buy that animal and you receive it and it looks very different from the photographs um so say for example you buy a gecko that looks white or black and white and you get it and it's like a tricolor or um you buy a dalmatian and it looks white and you get it and it's yellow or you buy a gecko and it looks pink you get it it's red um i feel like those are the common ones we see right now mm -hmm. is like the dalmatian stuff the pink pink to red and like the black and whites not being black and white we're selling yeah, yeah like the dalmatians they only show the pale <laughs> yeah. fired down version and they don't I, i'm not opposed to like only showing that but you have to disclose that it's fired down we'll talk yeah. about florifana sabina yeah. i'm all about disclosures like you have to disclose so but yeah, there's definitely a lot of that. And I, I think that we had talked about this. I think we'll do this on the next live. I was going to give some examples of basically, I think we'll do it on the next one. Where we'll just do screen share. Um, and then I'll walk you guys through some edits. So we'll take photos. I'll take my own photos and we'll show you kind of like how you could, you could skew them multiple different ways. Um, yeah. Just so you know, as a buyer and even as like a seller, um, what not to do in your for sale photos. Um, I don't claim to be perfect, but I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on um, Lightroom and Photoshop and stuff like that. So I can give you guys some examples of maybe what uh, to watch out for. So, yeah. Yeah. So we can do That'd that next cool. time. But okay. maybe if if in doubt, uh, <laughs> if you see an animal that's that's one of those things like a black and white or a white based Dalmatian or a pink Maybe send it to a few friends and get their take on it before you pull the trigger. Yeah. Send it to um, Brian and Brian will be like, no, don't buy from that person. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, Brian, how many people, so how many people sent you photos 
of animals when you put that poll out? Over 20. And then your your poll, what did people say? Basically, Over, 200, if, over 200 people voted. And they said based they on all, those they photos, all they, they would be pissed off if they received an animal. Because I used two an example of the gecko that the the sale, the sale photo, photo and the vet, the gecko that was received. Yeah, and <laughs> well, every pretty much everybody said besides like maybe five people out of two hundred and something people said that they would be pissed off that they got something like that. But Bobby, you know what? I would also say video is not safe because yeah. even even within you your can iPhone even within your iPhone you can edit video you don't even have to put yeah. it into video editing software you can do it on the photos section of your iPhone so yeah. i don't even really trust that <clears throat> it helps a little bit but yeah it's not it's not a foolproof for sure video maybe is a little helpful but it's still i mean you can edit video very easily for sure. it's 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 Pretty arguably much. maybe even easier than photos <laughs> yeah 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 this is true so um, so my the, the the main problem with this whole thing was most of the people that I talked to, they they never wanted it. No, most people didn't say anything to the breeder. They didn't yeah. want to say anything. And and that's where where it becomes a problem. Why do you suspect that is? Because they all say that they're they're afraid. they use the, they are afraid because they're a big breeder and they're the person buying it is a smaller breeder and they're afraid that. Either They'll get called that person out or... get called out and saying like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Don't, like, don't sell to this person because they're a bad customer. Or... Yes. And I don't okay. think, I mean, you got a product that wasn't what it was supposed to be. You say something. Yeah. You know? Yep. And I know uh, you said I... this in your, you said this in your post. And I, I totally echo this too, Brian. I'm sure Harry would say the same thing. If you get a gecko from any of us and you say, man, this thing doesn't look anything like what it was supposed to look like then we'll give you your money back. We'll return yes. it. Like uh, we're, we're trying to run legitimate businesses here with um, recurring customers. We want people to come back for years and years and years and be happy with the animals they get from us. Um, and I think a lot of folks out there kind of like, I think about like, I've been to some uh, restaurant, Harry, have you, you guys have been, I know Harry's been to Hawaii. Brian, have you been to mm -hmm. Hawaii before? No. So a big thing in Hawaii, I swear. And Chad can maybe, um give credit to this there's terrible restaurants that have like four thousand five five star reviews yeah and i'm pretty sure that it's it's like fake they buy fake reviews so that tourists will come and then they get a terrible meal but then they don't bother leaving a bad review because they don't live there so they don't they're never going to go back no. yeah, yeah you know so i think that a lot of gecko breeders kind of treat it the same way where it's like i don't really care if i get a repeat customer as long as I get this sale, I don't care if they don't come back. You know, I don't yeah, know if they yeah. have, they're actively thinking that, but their actions are reflecting that. Yeah. Where they're not yeah. thinking about their um, maintaining that customer for the long haul with the actions. That yeah. So, forward, so part you know? of the problem is, and we could talk about this next time too, but part of the problem is that the people that do this, like you can, a lot of these people aren't like very involved in the community because they don't yeah. care about the community. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> they just they just dip in for the sales. And yeah, that, yeah, so 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 I I try to gravitate and kind of surround myself with people that actually legitimately care about the community because you know these guys aren't going to scam you. They're not gonna they're not in it just to take your money. They're here because they want you to have good animals, and yeah. that mentality is easy to be overlooked when you see someone with fancy pictures like okay top lines uh, looks really nice, and then you get your animal. You're like, what the crap is this? <laughs> yeah. So, and I would tell people if that happens, return it. Yeah, yeah return it. Yeah. Listen, I'll, they, I'll I don't be... think I don't think anyone, especially if the animal looks nothing like, like if you buy a gecko, it's black and white, and it shows up like yellow and brown. Yeah. No one is gonna, even if it's a big breeder, no one is going to side with them. Yeah, like I really, yeah. or if they do, the people that do side with them will also get called out. So yeah, man, I that's... do think that the culture is shifting, and you don't need to be afraid if that's happened to you like obviously you can't go to back you probably can't go back to somebody from six months ago and say hey i don't like this gecko but if this happens to you moving forward i would say you should you should really bring it up with the breeder and i would at least ask them to take the animal back um and refund you be cool about yeah. it though like be don't cool. be, mean about, it. Don't be yeah. mean about it but i'd be like hey this really is not what it looked like in the photos i'm not happy with it i like to send it back tomorrow like get it in 
Don't sit on it for a week and make the decision. Get it in, yeah. make the decision, and ship it right back. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't even. Well, I mean, you could. Yeah, you give it a time frame to let it fire up and down a little bit, and then, yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, you know, don't wait a week to say something because they're yeah. probably not going to take it back because they're going to lean on their terms of service and say, "Oh, you waited too long." Yeah. You know, because everybody uses their terms to get out of any responsibility. So yeah, that's that's the worst thing. Like, hey, I know we all have our terms of service, but you know, we can flex. There's, it's not nothing set in stone. It's not, you know, I just I rather have a like I said in the thing. I I want a happy customer. I don't yeah. want to. I don't. I, I don't want to lose any customer and not know that I lost that customer. Right. So. Yeah. So I'm going to do whatever I can to to maintain that customer. And yeah, I and pay the return just, shipping. I pay the return and it, shipping. Yeah. And, yeah. And listen, I want that customer to be happy because you know what? That person is going to be happy. They're going to tell their friends that the good experience they had with you. Yeah. So then so it, it it's a big thing. It's not I get it. We're we're crested gecko breeders. We like to do things. We might like make nice things, but we're mm. also this is this is on the business side, right? This is a business as at, at some point too for some of us. So so we want to make sure that our customers are happy because people are customers. Uh, I mean, they're not just customers, but they're buying an animal from you, which makes them a customer. So so you want to make and them a supporter happy. of you. Do you want? Yes. You know, you gotta and, you gotta really honor that and treat that with weight. You know. Yeah, and it's and it seems like it's the same people, and. The people are doing this stuff, you know. I'm not name. I'm not gonna name any people, but the pe the pictures that I received from the people are the same it was six the people. Same people. It wasn't even like oh, this one person. I had one back. A one no, off. It's, it it's was a same. repeat of the same person over and over, yeah. and or the same people because it wasn't just one person. It was multiple people that had multiple issues, and. I'm not the one to call any. I'll call somebody out, but I'm not going to call them out where I'm going to destroy their business by name, you know? Yeah. But, but well, it's, it's we wrong. Can call out the behavior without, you know, yes. we talk I about the principles. Other than Lugardi, we can call them out, but yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. No, 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 no ill will, but no, you know, no, I'm no, just, no, no, no. but I'm just saying like, I hopefully people can make a change. I mean, I the animal changes from the customer. The customer is who's going to change this. Customer yeah. has all the power here. Yeah. So, so if anybody who's watching this and you received an animal that isn't what it was, don't be afraid to speak up, talk yeah. to them. Hey, listen, uh, you know, the gecko is a little bit more yellow creamier than what the photo portrayed. <clears throat> and, uh, I, it's not exactly what I want in my project. I really wanted a white gecko and that mm -hmm. what, what this photo is. And then, and then, and then take it from there. If they, they start to um, tell you, ah, oh, man, oh, I'm not doing that. It was a terms of service. Blah, blah, blah. Then, then you know what, then you take it to the next level. And then, and then you can message me and I'll tell and, you what's in the And then Brian will go punch him for you. <laughs> <laughs> then Brian will put them in his, uh, in his, uh, his broadcast channel and just uh, yeah, you know, I'll just shame him. That's it. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Um, okay, let's let's let, let's land on flora fauna. Okay, how about that? Okay, we'll take a next well, couple minutes. Getting ready to land the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Brian knows the turn. Brian knows the little sayings. We're li landing the plane. <laughs> landing a plane. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, I did want to. Oh, I forgot about Chris. I forgot about this one, but we'll save it for next time. Uh, something about making nice geckos in Korea. What about their importance of taste branding? Okay, I'll save that for next time, Chris. Did uh, Chris did Cresties. Sorry about that one. Um, but heirloom geckos, and I know Sabrina in the comments have asked about flora fauna. Let's talk about flora fauna. Who's bringing the hottest heat to flora fauna? Well, who um, knows? I mean, I will say, I know the three of us, <laughs> I know we've had the mentality where it's like, I'm not going to hold all my geckos for flora fauna. If people want to buy them, they yeah, like, just buy them. Yeah. If people want to buy them throughout the year before the show. So whatever heat is left, will come to flora fauna, but a lot of the heat is selling. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's all sold. Sorry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, um, so I post, I've been posting like this week, like things I'm bringing to flora fauna yeah. and then people have just been DMing me and so. buying them. <laughs> yeah i mean no, they're not so when they're not at though. when they're not at flora fauna i'm sorry somebody picked it up but <laughs> so, i mean i okay. do think i do think that that's 
I don't know. Harry, Harry had said something to me. He's like, man, I might like not, I need to save animals for Pomona or I need to save animals for for fauna. I'm like, dude, if people want to buy your animals, sell them. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think the biggest flex would be like, Hey, I'm going to show up to Flora Fauna. Gabby, I'll still pay for my table, but I'm sold out. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to show up and put my banner and put a bunch of cards on it because I'm sold out. Like, that's like the biggest flex. If you could show up to a major show and be sold out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't lie. I don't know. What did I lie about? I said I was bringing a Flora Fauna. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, and I are, Chad and I are sharing a table. So we're we'll be there. So I, I'm vending with Chad's table. AJ's vending, obviously. Brian's vending. Um, so we have we'll, we'll be bringing some animals for sure. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be all vending very close to each other. That'd be awesome. Yep, Gabby slash Morgan. We're all gonna us, be by the bathroom. Put, put us next to Tiki's oh, next to the <laughs> next to the food bathroom. <laughs> Put me oh. next to the hot dog roller. That's where I want to be. <laughs> That's in the, back, in the back, bro. Corner. Are you Harry, bringing? Harry, Harry are doesn't they gonna know. have it again? I have a small one. I'll bring my portable no, one. They had no, one. They there. didn't rent one. I don't think. They had. No, hot, there was one did. there last yeah. last year. I think that was Keith's. Uh, in the back. Oh, yeah. in the back it room. Was a big, it was a big one too. Yeah, I might yeah. just have to have the personal one for the boys. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I'll get the Costco <laughs> dogs too. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Just, yeah, keep it under your table. We just want to smell glizzies all, all day. Beef. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have the onion grinder too. Take it back old school. <laughs> Hopefully, the show host won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it won't be like Daytona where they came and like got me in trouble. <laughs> they literally came and were like, the first day they're like, you can't have the hot dog cooker tomorrow. And then they came back and I had it like under the table and they're like, we can smell the hot dogs. Is it under there? <laughs> I'm like, it might be, but no one can see them. I can't have my own food. They're like, no. I'm like, so I could bring a Subway sandwich in, but I can't cook myself a hot dog. <laughs> like, how does that work? I'm not selling them. It's so funny. You should have hot. You have hot dogs. I'll have uh, dumplings. Harry will no, have No, you're going to have orange chicken. <laughs> and express <laughs> and express orange chicken oh, and egg rolls man. uh when will brian or harry's kickers be in the auction is it which auction what auction morph market aj's auction we're not we're not a part of that <laughs> yeah i don't even I don't, we don't even live in the same state yeah <clears throat> we'll have our own auction one day <laughs> yeah. um harry maybe, has auctions maybe all the time we'll Go do, on zero maybe we'll do some com. kind of uh not selling maybe we'll do some kind of a group collab <laughs> auction thing at some point but yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like once, uh, once a year. A gecko pod yeah. auction. Ooh, that'd be fun. Gecko pod live auction. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be fun. That'd be lots, really of, lots of ideas we can come up with. Um, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, so Flora Fauna is May fourth to fifth. Yeah. Okay. First, first weekend of May, which is almost mm -hmm. in about a month, a little over a month, and we'll all be there. Yeah. And um, I don't know if we might have another live before then, AJ. I'm not sure. Or maybe we do something there. Or I'm sure we'll shoot like something there because yeah. we'll all be in the same yeah. place. Yeah. yeah. We have some. Uh, I'll bring my. Even if we shoot like a vlog or I don't know. Something. You do it in uh, in our Airbnb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we can set up like a multicam and we can all be on one couch or like different couches. <laughs> or, or in the oh, hot tub. kind of cool. We'll like be in the hot cam, tub. and then we'll switch cams and everything. Uh, That'd be really cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, I like well, those we're... podcasts that I watch. They do yeah, that. They I like those. those too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, we'll be in the Our same. Our is in New Airbnb. York, Wyndham, New York, Wyndham, New York, East Coast. Everyone Beautiful. go there so we can see you guys. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. We All good? Right. We yeah. Uh, you guys, good show. Pray, pray for me. I'm move. I'm moving my whole collection. On Saturday. Oh, can't wait, you man! I'm excited try, to see it. Try to document some of it, AJ. We want to see. Oh some. yeah, do like uh, the, the, the befores, the and then you know what you do? You pan out like before. Oh, did you do a before video? I didn't do like, one when it looked terrible. Oh, that would have been the best. And then you just snap. I'm sure your I have some photos. Sudden... I probably have some photos when it looks terrible. Yeah. So so do it now before it's filled up. All right. And yeah, then yeah, do yeah, a yeah. thing and then after and then you do a thing. Okay. Out again. I can do that. I can cool. do that. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. You guys want to cool. close out any um any promos, anything besides Florafana for you guys? Mm. Um, no, I mean 
Watch normal, Gerald Gecko's vlog on YouTube. Follow <laughs> oh, us. and uh, Follow. Gecko Cove, Bobby's Gecko Cove with yeah, watch uh, Harry. Yeah, Gecko Cove episode. Give him uh, some Cove. support. I'm gonna watch it. He's and got, then Brian and AJ will probably be on one watch day. Watch the vlogs. No, watch, Bobby doesn't watch Brian's. Bobby, doesn't uh... want me on. Bobby <laughs> wants that connection. Bobby, your connection is is Brian right there. There. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody watch Brian's <laughs> broadcast <laughs> channel. You He's like, uh, I don't even already. have. I don't have... Yes, broadcast channel. <laughs> <laughs> My broadcast uh, ranting channel. That's a rant. That's I call it the rant. <laughs> The red channel. <laughs> and it's just me ranting. <laughs> if you want you can't you can't engage back. Austin's gonna wear a GoPro the whole time, but the problem is I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, hitting him with some pro wrestling moves. I'm gonna be jumping on his back like a spider monkey. <laughs> Austin, yeah, he's gonna Austin's be, gonna he's gonna be carrying one of my giant racks. I'm just gonna like pummel him. <laughs> well, he's got the GoPro on. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> cool 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 so yeah, yeah we'll uh we'll see you guys on the next one next week episode 62 is going to be with uh lm jess and anthony we'll have a morph chat uh comment, in the comment below dm us about what you guys want to hear about and then we'll pick and choose oh yeah that. can you guys tell us so we're going to do a morph chat with anthony and jess can you all say what uh more if you want us to talk about so something we haven't yeah. talked about so we've already done what phantom and we've done empty, empty back, back so if there's something you some want to hear us on talk some of about. those but you know it's okay I, w- I was gonna say something but i decide i i'm gonna hold back on that one. Oh, now okay. you now now on we a, gotta on a morph on a morph that <laughs> okay tell us next time tell super cat ca- next, yeah. <laughs> next time tell us next time uh yeah. okay so yeah let us know but uh, we appreciate you guys thank you for joining us for over two hours i appreciate you brian and wow. aj it yeah. was a good night good hanging good out one. yeah love chilling we got you to a lot of stuff so it was good yeah yeah we hit a lot of stuff good episode share it out and uh, like and subscribe we love you all everybody share this send it to your friends thank you (laughs) yeah see you guys good night